Good evening. I'm Greg Peterson. And I'm Carolyn Donaldson. And this is the 92nd edition of Our Town. It's Curwinsville tonight here on your public TV station, WPSU. We're here raising the funds tonight to support public broadcasting, yes. to show the support for Curwinsville. So we ask that you call 800-245-9779. Make your pledge and support great programming on this station. We've been doing this series since 1996. This is the 92nd episode. It's a so great one. It's been a great, it's been a great way for us to connect with the communities we serve. And we hope you invest value public broadcasting enough that you make a pledge. And a shout out to this man who created this wonderful masterpiece and we'd like you to pick up the phone and call in honor of Greg and in honor of all of our friends from Kerwinsville who our entire studio is filled with friends from Kerwinsville and Clearfield County and they're all here waiting for your phone call. So now's the time to call and then sit back and relax and enjoy the program. 1-800-245-9779. We'll be back in a little bit. Welcome to Kerwinsville, Pennsylvania. Located along the west branch of the Susquehanna River in Clearfield County, Kerwinsville is a historical town filled with pride and promise. People from the area enjoy a wide range of educational, recreational, and community-minded activities. Join us as several residents of Kerwinsville show and tell what makes their community a great hometown. Your friends and neighbors welcome you to Our Town, Kerwinsville. Support for Our Town, Kerwinsville comes from the Kerwinsville Area Educational Association, promoting character, preparing students, and preserving our community. Information at kerwinsvilleareaea.psealocals.org. Russell Stone Products, offering distinctive dimensional building sandstone for projects around the world. Russell Stone, over 100 years of history with Our Town, Kerwinsville. Star Hill Vineyard and Winery, established in 2005 with four generations of winemakers bringing the old world ambiance to Kerwinsville, Pennsylvania and beyond. The Area Transportation Authority, providing reliable, safe public transit to riders across six counties, serving senior citizens, commuters, and the disabled, and stimulating business throughout our region. ATA, rural transportation for our town, Kerwinsville, and beyond. And viewers like you. Thank you. My name is Bill Williams, uh, and I'm here to talk today about the Irvin family. You can't talk about the beginning of Kervinsville without talking about the Irvin family, but you need to go back a little further to Admiral Penn, which was William Penn's father. The king granted him this land in Pennsylvania. Now, of course, as we all know, his son, William, got most of it. But some of it went to the Kerwin family, and they were from Workington, England. George Fisher Kerwin was the one who came to this country, but there's a little bit of folklore about how the Irwins got the property. As it seems, uh, George Fisher Kerwin uh, was a good Quaker, but he also supposedly gambled, and he lost this property to a gentleman by the name of A. James Buchanan, and that's who the Irwin family bought this property from, the Irwins being William Irwin and John Irwin Sr. They were the first to arrive here. They laid out the streets. They started a lot of things. They had uh, a mercantile store, they had a grist mill, they had a lumber mill, sawmill, they had a planing mill, they had a match factory. They also had the Susquehanna House, which is a tavern and hotel along the stagecoach road and later on when the railroad came to town. Three of the four oldest buildings in town are Irvin properties. The first one is uh, William Irwin, which was built in 1830. The second one is a building that I own now and I run my business and I live in. It was built in 1860. The John Irwin property, which is built out of native stone, was 1866. And then of course, Kerwin's VFW, it was probably sometime in the 1880s. Also, there was a few things that they donated to the town. One is Monument Park. There's a monument there for World War I, World War II, and of course, the original intent of the property was to be a monument to the Bucktails. Second of the properties donated board was Irwin Park, which is right along the river. It has a band shell, band pavilion, has other pavilions for picnicking, has uh, playground equipment. 
one of the other major properties is Oak Hill Cemetery. Now the property above Monument Park or part of Monument Park used to be where the Friends Meeting House was and there was a small cemetery there. Well the Irwin family bought the property back and then of course they moved the cemetery up to Oak Hill. And then uh, the rest of Oak Hill was then donated by the Patton family, but it is also, it's been there. So the Irwin family is basically goes hand in hand with the beginning of Kerwinsville. Kerwinsville is a testament to the hard work that they displayed when they came here. I mean, they built this place. They built it with their bare hands. And basically, you know, we talk about history and pride and promise that Kerwinsville has residents that live here the durability of the residents that live here through the good times and the bad times is basically based on what the Irwin family started here. My name is Heather McCall, and my story is raising a family in a small town. I grew up here, and at the age of 20, I moved away, and I moved down south. It was bigger than here. It was more urban. And about the age of 26, I moved back, and I found someone and we started a family. And they get to play the same places that I played at and I love that. The Kerwinsville Park, the Grampian Park, all the cricks. There's a crick right, on, right below our house and my little Jack, who is three, he loves going down there and finding what he calls baby lobsters. Don't be giggling. I love that everything is so close knit the school, it's K through 12. And I love that because you're not just a number, you're a person. Everybody knows who you are. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'm not sure. <laughs> Some of the things that I did whenever I was younger, I went to Grampian Days, the parades, Kerwinsville Days, Clearfield County Fair, and I love to share that with my boys. I understand that sometimes everybody's like, I'm bored, I'm bored, there's not stuff to do, but I'm not as afraid to let the kids go outside by themselves. They play with the neighbor kids. If we were in a bigger city, I think I'd be more afraid to let them go out. I do love that it's so small. I mean, I've been out in the world and saw the bigger places and you always go back home again. Hi, I'm Gail O'Donnell. I'm going to tell you today about Clearfield Cheese. The Clearfield Cheese Company in Kerwinsville, Pennsylvania, is primarily known for inventing the uh, individually wrapped cheese slices. The individually wrapped slices were invented by uh, Arnold Naraki in 1956. I started in 1974. I worked a slice machine. I worked in the packaging room. I ran the cookers. I did the slice cookers, the five pound cookers, and the ribbon cookers. I ran the grinders for all three of those processes. Because of that process of wrapping the slices, we became the second largest cheese name in the world, only second to craft. Since we were so large, a new facility was built on Cooper Road, so we could handle more customers. During that period, we were owned by Hood. They primarily had an ice cream factories, and they tried to run processed cheese the way they ran their ice cream, and unfortunately, it didn't work. The company eventually closed. It was great to work at the cheese plant. It was a nice place. We were all friends. Everybody get along good. We all cried when it closed. I love Kerwinsville, Clearfield area. It's just a, a real homey area. You know everybody. You you can walk down the street and say hello to people that you've known all your life. It's just a really nice, friendly little town. My kids are here, my grandchildren are here. It's just where my family's at and I love it. My name is Bobby Straw and I'm a firefighter EMT and the current secretary for the Rescue Hose and Ladder Company. 
The company was developed in 1874 as the Rescue Hook and Ladder Company, uh, but wasn't instituted until 1879 when they bought their first ladder truck, which was housed in the old borough building on Walnut Street. A name change came later and was officially became the Rescue Hose and Ladder Company in Clifford County. The department has been through many homes and we finally got our permanent home in 1941 at the old Dots Ford Garage on Filbert Street. We currently have two engine tankers, both at 1,500 gallons each, two rescues, three water rescue boats, a brush truck, and three ambulances. We specialize in vehicle, water, rope, high angle, confined space, and trench rescues. The, the whole company is volunteer. It's been volunteer since it started. Um, the ambulance is staffed 24-7, 365. We do a lot of training. We work, we work very well together, and we do a lot of the training so that we are here to help the community. We also go to other communities a lot because of the specialized rescue. The fire company sees about 300 calls annually, and the ambulance sees about 1,200 annually, making us the busiest BLS service in Clifford County, which is something to be proud of. I think we all just do it because we love helping people. The community of Kerbinsville is very supportive. We do a lot in the community. We do uh, several fundraisers, and we all have always good turnouts because of the community. The ambulance gets paid for every 911 call that we have. It's staffed 24-7, 365. We also have a membership drive every year, um, which pays for the staff. We do a lot with the community as a company. Um, we uh, participate a lot in fire protection. Um, we come to the school every year. Some students come to the department. Um, we show them the trucks, let them try on some gear. I've been involved since 2012, I'm 19 now. I've been an active firefighter since I was 14. By the time I turned 16, I was a certified EMT and I've been running with the ambulance too. I actually went there for a Boy Scout meeting and I just fell in love with it. My favorite thing about the community is togetherness. We currently have about 40 active members in the company. There are some who've been there for quite a while. We all look forward to keeping that togetherness that we see in the community just within the company as well. Um, continuing to do training and staying together, being very dedicated and working very well together. Well, I'm Jeff Belmore. I'm the Scoutmaster of Troop 13, and I'm here to talk about the history of Boy Scouts in Kerwinsville. In 2019, we're going to be celebrating our 75th anniversary. We've had record of Boy Scouts in Kerwinsville since 1927. But then in 1932, we became part of the Bucktail Council. A lot of history in Kerwinsville. The outside meetings are at Irwin Park. We can build a fire, we can cook over the fire, we have different activities that the boys can do. We do camping at Irwin Park. Just a good time to get outside during the summer instead of being stuck inside. Canoe trips are our best part. That's, that's our biggest activities during the spring and summer months. Seems like forever our troop has canoed on the river. We've had scouts canoe from Cherry Tree to Harrisburg on the west branch of the Susquehanna River. But our favorite trip of all is the 80-mile Chinkalika Moose Wilderness Canoe Trip. It's a five-day adventure from Clearfield to North Bend. And it's a good way for the boys to get a, a real wilderness adventure. Philmont Scout Ranch in New Mexico, our boys have traveled there in the past too, and uh, it's a great place. It's 100,000 acres of, of uh, Scout Ranch that the boys uh, backpack, 12-day treks, beautiful scenery, and the boys come back with a completely different attitude. They, they learn so much about themselves. We have 46 Eagle Scouts in Troop 13. I talked to three of our past Eagle Scouts. The first one is Adam Weiser. The values that you learn from scouting prepare young men for the future with character and self-reliance to live by in today's society. And we have Tony and Belmore. I think it's so cool that, you know, there's a program out there like the Scouts that through really fun and interesting ways is able to, you know, give teenagers the building blocks to, you know, grow into responsible, successful young men. And uh, DJ Caldwell. I think the most important thing that I came out of it with was genuine friendship. A lot of the people that I interacted with in Scouts are to this day still some of my best friends in the entire world and for that I'm incredibly grateful for. The community has always given us such wonderful support in Kerwinsville. 
you know, without the local businesses and the other clubs and the people in town and all the families that have helped us out over the years, and, you know, with hundreds of scouts that have joined the troops since 1932, you know, we just can't say enough of how much support we get. I just believe in the program, what it can do for young men and, and teenage boys that's in those volatile years. I believe what scouting has to offer young men and, and adults and, and families. Scouting is a family affair. You know, if the families aren't involved, they're really missing out. And, uh, you know, that's why I stick around. We'll be right back to show you how sandstone from Kerwinsville has reached the nation's capital. We'll also explore the beauty of the lake and tell the story of one family's 90-year-old business. But first, please show your support for Kerwinsville and WPSU by making a pledge. Thanks. Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us tonight for Our Town Kerwinsville. I'm Lindsay Whistle-Fenton, a producer at the station. And I have to say, Kerwinsville has a special place for me because Our Town Kerwinsville was actually the first Our Town I ever got to produce when I came here and started working on the Our Town series. So I've now gotten to go twice to this wonderful town, and both times I've learned something new and interesting that I would not have known without this program and without the wonderful community members who help tell it. So if you are enjoying this program, if you value the stories that you're getting through the Our Town series, especially about Kerwinsville, 1-800-245-9779 is the number to call. And this is actually our 92nd, is a 92, not, not short 92nd, but 92nd episode of the Our Town series, the 92nd installment. And that is because it has been able to continue for 92 episodes because people like you said, yes, I value this. I value community-based storytelling and I know I will not find it anywhere else on television except on WPSU. So if that is you and if you value public television programming and you value the Our Town series, this is the time to call 1-800-245-9779. And I'm joined in the um, studio by uh, community volunteer, Scott Giese, who has some ways to, um, to say thank you that he'd like to share. Yeah, Lindsay's a terrific producer. We put the challenge out there. Lindsay, do a 90 second version of Our Town. It didn't work, the pictures went too fast, so it's not done that. 1-800-245-9779 is the phone number. Now, part of our challenge tonight is we've got nine terrific folks seated behind me. I think we have, there they are. There's a problem here. Go ahead, wave, okay. There's a problem here, they're waving. Now, if they wave their phones, that would look a little unwieldy, all right, that doesn't work. We wanna get all nine of these folks active, and that's where you come into the play, all right? 1-800-245-9779, if you're from Kerwinsville, obviously. Next door is Clearfield, down the road is Grampian, Clearfield County, or anywhere in our viewing area. And actually, I'm told we are streaming worldwide tonight. We might have callers from who knows where. Uh, if you're interested in the live stream, maybe you know somebody from Kerwinsville who's from, they live in California now or some far off place. Uh, tell them, you know, text them or use your gadget or gizmo, wpsu.org slash live. There's a link there to watch the show online tonight. So definitely pass that along to all your friends that may be far away and can't get our regular signal. There we go. Now we're starting to get some calls. Yes, we've got some nice giveaways for you tonight. We do have, uh, let's see, for a $75 pledge, you can get a DVD copy of this program tonight. And again, tonight's show is brand new. First time aired tonight. So for a $75 pledge, when you call the phone volunteer, you say, I want the DVD, and they'll be happy to mark you down. For a $120 pledge, you can get copies of both Kerwinsville shows. Lindsay mentioned she worked on the first one a number of years ago, all right? There's one, and then tonight's show. So for a $120 pledge, you get the complete story of Kerwinsville. But of course, you make whatever pledge or whatever donation you would like to make at 1-800-245-9779. Also, if uh, online is more handy for you, that's fine. WPSU.org is the address. Right now, I'm going to throw it to my friend Carolyn Donaldson with a special guest. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm joined here by one of our great community advisory board members, John Losney. Thank you so much, John, for joining us. And you also are one of our great underwriters with your group, yes. ATA. How important is it for a group like ATA to be involved in their communities that they serve? Well, you know, our transportation authorities serve six counties. Mm -hmm. And so we get into many communities where a rural public transit authority. 
and our association with our town goes back at least 10 years Great. or more. And it's always it's been very gratifying because we work alongside our friends in all of these communities. I actually started my career in Clearfield and Kernsville working with the commissioners when, in the 1970s when ATA was formed. And uh, I worked for Richard Leininger and the commissioners who were instrumental in creating ATA. Mm -hmm. But I, I, the thing, in driving over, I thought, what word do I associate with this community? Mm -hmm. And it's, my, by my memory, hospitality. That's wonderful perfect. hospitity. That's and, great. Um, that's been part of the experience in all these communities that's great. that we've worked in. Well, so. thank you so much, and thank you, ATA, for sponsoring uh, this version of Our Town Kerwinsville. And we want to give a special shout-out to somebody who is close to one of those stories we already heard about. I did not know that the cheese-wrapped individual cheese was created in Kerwinsville, and it was from the family of the Naraki. So, Helene and Stash Naraki from Genesee, Pennsylvania, thank you so much for your pledge. You heard your story, I'm sure, over the years, and now it's being told here in our town. Please pick up the phone, won't you now, and give our wonderful Kerwinsville volunteers a call at 1-800-245-9779. The time to call is right now, and you can get some extra special gifts. Right, Lindsay? That's right, Carolyn. At a $75 pledge level, we have a copy, your very own copy of Our Town Kerwinsville that you can enjoy over and over again. Or at a $120 pledge level, we'll send you two DVDs, so one to keep, one to share. Oftentimes, people will get one and donate it to their um, town library so this program's legacy can live on for many, many in the community to enjoy. But also, when you pledge, you need to understand those dollars are paying it forward. Not only are they helping pay in support for Our Town Kerwinsville, they're also helping to support the next Our Town. This is truly community-based public television. It is public supported. People like you through each and every episode of the Our Town series have called in and said, I value this programming. I realize how precious it is to have a station that will come and tell the stories of Our Town, these important stories, these stories that nobody could tell unless they were truly from the town. This is community-based storytelling on public television, your community station, 1-800-245-9779. I think we have a few phones open. If you've never called before, I promise it's quick, it's painless, it just takes a couple of minutes, but you know that that pledge of support lives on so much past that phone call. It lives on in each and every one of the programs that you watch on WPSU programs like Our Town, other local programs like the Conversations Live series, whatever national programs you might like. Your dollars are what make those programs possible. So 1-800-245-9779, or you can also go online at WPSU.org. But the important thing is to make that call of support now. Scott? Folks, if you're from Kerwinsville, oh, there's a nice. We like to ring the bell when we get a really good pledge. So thank you very much to that kind person. Um, Folks, if you're from Kerwinsville and you recognize some of these faces you see on the screen right now, folks kind of over my shoulder there, when you call in, you're allowed to give them the business. All right, give them the business. All right, hey, how are you? What are you doing there? All that sort of thing. If you're not from the area, we still need your support. The Our Town series is a WPSU original. It started here about 25 years ago. And we've mentioned that this is show number 92 in the series tonight and every time I watch an Our Town show there's at least one thing I learn about a particular town or area or region I didn't know that yeah the the package slice cheese I think I'd heard about cheese in Kerwinsville but I didn't know about the package the first package sliced cheese so the next time I'm at my backyard grill and I throw that burger on the grill it cooks up I put that slice of cheese on there I'm going to think of Kerwinsville. I got the call, call it a Kerwinsville burger or something. I don't know, not a cheeseburger. That's where it came from. So we're looking for your support tonight to help keep programs like Our Town going. This is number 92. Then we'll have 93, 4. We're shooting for 100. We're shooting past 100. But none of this happens without your financial support, and that's why we're here tonight, and that's why all these terrific phone volunteers have given up their evening to come on over to our studios tonight, answer the phones, and get your donations of support. It's very easy to do. 1-800-245-9779. Let's see if we can get all nine phone volunteers busy at once. Again, if you're online, that's more handy for you. Not a problem. WPSU.org. Look for the donate link on the homepage, and we would be thrilled to have you there. Let's go back to Carolyn. 
goodness, what a great community. You can hear those phones ringing and you hear lots of laughter because these folks are answering the phones from people just like you, viewers like you, who perhaps live in Kerwinsville or at one point did or know someone who does and wants to hear more of about the stories that are most important to those who live here. Thank you very much. We have a, an anonymous donation in honor of Doug Bloom, one of our great volunteers here. And that's what this community is all about. Nowhere else will you be able to find these types of stories and even these volunteers coming in to answer phones like you're seeing happen right now. And we can have you join us and be a part of that family by picking up the phone and adding. And let's get all nine of those phones ringing. As Scott was saying, 1-800-245-9779. Coming up, you're going to hear a cool story about a stone quarry, of course, in Kerwinsville. But that stone is found all over the world. It's going to be amazing to hear all the different buildings that you can find parts of our neck of the woods in beautiful historic monuments across the country. And that, again, are, those are the kind of stories that just don't get told that often anymore. And public television is the best vehicle to do that. And you're a part of public television. You're actually the owners of public television, not only the stories, but the support that we need right now in continuing to keep these programs vital and important to you. 1-800-245-9779 is the number to call. Please do so now or go online at WPSU.org. And a shout out to all the people that are streaming us on our live. Give us a call. Let us know where you're from. We want to spread the word here about our town, Kerwinsville. Right, Lindsay? That's right. We already have someone calling with a pledge that we want to thank Emma and Ella uh, Elinsky from Dubois, Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for your support around Our Town Kerwinsville. One of the great things about the Our Town series is that you get calls from all over the country sometimes. I think we've even had some from out of the country. So you really get to see all of the connections and the impact that these stories have and how widely those circulate. So we're going to put out a challenge. We want to hear from a few different states. We want callers to show their support of Kerwinsville, their connection and their, their care for this community through a pledge of support. 1-800-245-9779. It sounds like it's a little quiet. The phones are open. So if you've been waiting to make your call, now is the time. 1-800-245-9779. At a $75 pledge, we will thank you with your very own copy of Our Town Kerwinsville on DVD. Or at $120 pledge level, we will send you two DVDs, one to keep, one to share. And again, all of those dollars and any pledge, any amount goes right back into the programs that you love on WPSU. Programs like the Our Town series These are truly made possible because of people like you who said this series is important. We recognize that no other station, no other place on television can we find stories like this that are told by the people who live in the communities. If that is something you value, 1-800-245-9779 is the number you want to call to say yes. These programs have a place in my life and they have an important contribution to our community. So 1-800-245-9779 or go online at WPSU.org, although I'd say call now because there are some phones open. Scott? Clearly our phone volunteers, hi, are having a good time tonight. Oh, we like when we ring the bell. Very good, thank you very much. Our phone volunteers are clearly having a good time. I've got to assume they're getting some calls from neighbors. What are you doing on television? Oh, you look funny on TV. No, nothing like that, okay? But anyway, we're asking for your call tonight, your pledge of support if you're from uh, Kerwinsville, Clearfield County, anywhere in our central and northern Pennsylvania viewing area, or even further away than that. We are streaming live tonight at WPSU.org slash live. Clearly word has gotten out. Now I hope I uh, pronounced names correctly. Uh, a big thank you to Anthony Belmore of Charleston, South Carolina. Wow, okay, he's definitely watching online. And uh, his father is Jeff Belmore, very proud about presenting the, the, the segment we saw about the scouts uh, in the last segment. So that's great. Now we're not done yet. A thank you to Vaughn Coombs of Fayetteville, Georgia, is watching on the streaming uh, online tonight. Whoa, that's great, fantastic. Uh, and thank you to Bob uh, Heath Reed and Reed Hawkins of Olanta, Pennsylvania. Okay, that's a little closer to home. That's perfectly fine. So we're going to see how many uh, donations of support we can get tonight because, again, we're working now on our town show number 93 and then 94 and then 95 and so on. We want to keep this series going uh, forever. That would be nice. But it only happens with your donation of support. You, the members, you, the viewers, are what keep this engine going. 
So let's keep ringing the phones tonight, please. We want to keep our fun volunteers uh, having fun at 1-800-245-9779. Or again, if you're online, WPSU.org is a handy place to go. And let's go to my friend Carolyn. Oh, the beauty of digital and technology to see all our friends from all across the world being able to watch us tonight and watch our friends here from Kerwinsville answer your pledge and your donation. And thanks to Diane Holland from Kerwinsville who called in her pledge of donation and support. And she wants to give a shout out to Sis and Neff Ansu and Julie and Jonathan Seidman. Thank you so much. We've got many more stories coming up. Don't go away. But right now, pick up the phone and call 1-800-245-9779 or go online at WPSU and then sit back and relax and enjoy the rest of this wonderful show. We've got many more segments to tell you about stories that matter to you from you, the citizens and the residents of Clearfield and of Kerwinsville in Clearfield County. We want to hear you now by picking up the phone and calling and then again, sitting back and relaxing and enjoying the Russell Stone Quarry. We've got stories about the uh, motorcycling in the local area and many more to come. Thank you so much for your support. Give us a call right now. Sit back and relax for a $75 donation. You can receive that DVD for $125. You can receive two. We'll be back. You can also make your contribution at WPSU.org. Click on Donate at the top of the page. It's always available and easy to use. Thanks. My name is Kathy Hawkins, and I am here representing the elementary literacy team of Kerbinsville Area School District. The elementary literacy team was formed in 2012. The district won a Keystones to Opportunity grant, and part of that process, we had to form a local literacy plan to improve the outcomes of our students, our literacy outcomes. The four big programs that were developed by the elementary literacy team are a summer reading program that we partner with our local library, Kerbinsville Public Library. We also have a book ball every December attended by the community. And we also host a trunk or treat and we also do a read under the lights program every fall. In 2015, we developed a Read Under the Lights program that's hosted at Riverside Stadium, which is a real landmark in our community. We invite all community and we invite the students and their families, preschool through grade six, to the stadium to read books with their families under the lights. We have, over the past two years, 300 to 400 students and their families attend the event, and it was truly a success. Trunk or Treat began in 2013. Kerbinsville already had a really successful Halloween program. They do a great big parade in town every year, followed by the community trick or treat. We designed a Trunk or Treat event that is literacy themed. Immediately after the Halloween parade, when the community trick or treat began, we opened up the parking lot at Chidboy's Funeral Home and students and their families could come and they could get Halloween candy, which of course they expected, but they also could get literacy themed treats. Every child who came to the event got a book, they got pencils, finger puppets, literacy activities. We've seen it grow that first year we had 300 to 400 students, last year we had 800 plus. Our community sponsors that first year we had eight community sponsors, this past year we had 18. I think all of the events that we've designed, whether it be Trunk or Treat, Read Under the Lights, the Summer Reading Program, the Book Ball, the big thing that we have done is we have um, made literacy a big part of the entire community. Literacy, the ability to read and write, oftentimes is your key to success in life. So, you know, for us, everything that we can do um, to support literacy in the home, in the community, here at school, um, it's just exciting. My name's Dan Russell. The story's about the Kervinsville Quarries. The quarries ran up till 1932 when they shut down due to the Depression. And in 2002, we got the ground, went in with a friend and started to quarry up on Anderson Creek Hill. And then in 06, we opened the Roaring Run Quarry. The towns was built on these quarries. The stone went into the bridge at Harrisburg. It's the largest free-spanning bridge in 
in the United States, I believe. It's one of the best, if not the best, sandstone in the world. We bring it out of the ground. We drill it. We have to horizontal and vertical drill it. Every other hole we fill with Primacord. So when we shoot the blocks out of the ground, they come out in a 40-foot, 20-foot long wall. We run it through saws. If it's not going to be sawed, we take it and split it down. We do the old-fashioned way of pin and feather. And then natural process, down from saws to polishers to carvers, whatever the job particularly calls for. So the process basically comes down to what the customer wants and what we're trying to achieve with it. It's kind of an honor to, uh, to do the work. The United States Capitol, Washington, D.C., the new visitor center, 80% Russell Stone, Mount Vernon Memorial Library, all Bloom Run or Sandstone for the pavers and everything around the Mount Vernon Library. We're getting ready, I think the first week of July, our first shipment goes to the Pentagon. We just finished a big project last year at the Philadelphia Art Museum. We've shipped to Dubai, we've done jobs in China, we do a lot in Canada. It's kind of neat to come out of a little village here and it's all over the world. My name is Jennifer Moore and I'm here to talk about the Woodhurst Gardens in Kerwinsville. Woodhurst Gardens was created by my grandparents, Ann and George Thatchick. When he came home from the war, there was a piece of property here in Kerbinsville along the Susquehanna River that used to be the um, sawmill. At the time that my grandfather was interested in it, it was a junkyard. And then after he and my grandmother got married, they moved in and everybody thought they were crazy for buying this junkyard. Once it was all cleared, he started creating hybrid rhododendron and planting trees and trying to bring the, the acreage back to life. The cherry trees came in themselves, but he planted tulip trees and ginkgo trees, and he has um, pine trees called Japanese umbrella pines, and they're really super rare and interesting. Anytime they would go anywhere, he would try to get seedlings from wherever he was to bring back and plant in his garden. We have a tree called the Meta Sequoia from a grove in China. My grandfather was able to secure a start from one of those trees from a friend of his in Holland. It's a very rare thing. It's 60 feet tall now. And, you know, it's, it's a family of the sequoia trees from out in California. So we expect that as long as it's standing, it will continue to go really high. He's created many of the rhododendron that are there. Most of them are one of a kinds. He has one called Jennifer that he named after me. And it's a really deep, dark red rhododendron. It's the only one in existence. And he's won many awards for it from the National Rhododendron Society. People have come in and wanted to offer to propagate it and to sell it, and he's always turned them down. He just said that wasn't what it was about for him. He was um, a horticulturalist by hobby. He had an interest in things like that. He was a man that enjoyed the process of things. And he loved the process also of taking you know, a flower from somewhere in a part of a world and, and another part and putting them together in something that would never occur in nature. A lot of these rhododendron that he made were 15 years in the making before he would see a bloom. So I grew up at, at, at this house, spent every weekend with my grandparents. Now uh, my husband and I live there with our girls and so we're passing it on to them. And we're just really fortunate to be able to have it. It's, it's, it really is beautiful. I absolutely love living in Kerbinsville. I love raising my kids here. It really is a, a nice small town. You know everybody. Everybody asks how your day is and, and wants to know how things are going in your life and you reciprocate that and it really is just a, a, a wonderful place to live. My name is David Tui, and I'm here today to, to talk about the Kerbinsville Lake. The dam was built in 1963. The purpose of the lake was for flooding, not only for Kerwinsville or Clearfield, but Lock Haven, Williamsport, Renova, and as far south as Harrisburg. The cost of the dam at the time that they built it was $20 million. The damage that it saved since that time is $238 million. The county is leasing a piece of property off the U.S. Army Corps engineer. The things that we have to offer at the lake are, we have a uh, 52 uh, RV campsites with electric. 
We have uh, over 200 picnic tables. I believe there's six pavilions. We have boating and we have fishing. We have a sand beach. We have two volleyball courts, uh, sand volleyball courts. Uh, we have tournaments up there. We have like six playgrounds for the kids. We have a dog park that's about 22,000 square foot. They have a place for small dogs and they have a place for large dogs. We have a activities director uh, every week. She tries to have different activities down at the lake. It could be a flea market, it could be a car show. That way, whenever you visit the lake, uh, you bring an, an RV in. Uh, there are things to do. Kernsville area is a nice place to, to live. There's many uh, different activities that they can do, uh, especially at the Kernsville Lake. Uh, bring your family in, enjoy the day, uh, fish, boat, uh, whatever you do, uh, Kernsville's the way to be. I'm Laura Wiggins. I work at Leather Lumber. I'm also the great-granddaughter of one of the founders of Leather Lumber, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. This year is the 90th anniversary of Leather Lumber. My great-grandfather, Michael Leather, and his two cousins, uh, Charles and Louis Sandry, founded the company together. They were farmers, so it was um, the Sandry Leather Farm Equipment and Lumber Company. <laughs> There was a need in Kerwinsville and the surrounding areas for a lumber yard, so they kind of jumped into it and started it out. In 1949, my great-grandfather brought his two sons into the business and they purchased the lumber portion and separated off from um, Charles and Louis Sandry. Since then, it has been owned and operated strictly by um, my family. In 1972, there was a fire in the original location. It was on a Saturday. The fire wiped out nearly the entire inventory. It opened for business on Monday. <laughs> My grandparents were, were adamant that we were still there serving the community. One of the things I always like about that story is other competitors and community members helped us. They offered us trucks and actually gave inventory from their inventory to fill orders. And I think that kind of speaks volumes for how our town still is. Kerwinsville is still very much in that, in that sense that you, you help someone out, even, even your competitor in those kinds of situations. After that, uh, the new building was moved where we are now. We are still currently located there on Schofield Street. Um, I believe those doors opened in 1973 and they've been open ever since and continuously growing and now Leather Lumber has 11 stores and uh, three commercial door facilities and a truss manufacturing facility right here in Kerwinsville. Shortly also after our doors in Kerwinsville opened after the fire, we opened in Dubois. About four or five years later, they opened in Indiana. We have many employees that have been with the company since the doors opened in Indiana. I personally feel like it speaks volumes for the company. We really care about our employees. My grandfather is the kind of man that still comes into work every single day at 90 years old because that's just what he does and he loves this company and he loves the people that work for him. It is the most amazing place in the world to grow up. I went away to school in Pittsburgh. I loved the city, but there is nothing like the fresh air and the green grass and the fields and the forests that you see when you come to Kerwinsville. Everybody knows you and you feel at home no matter what part of town or where you're from. It's just amazing. My name is Tyler Wilkinson and I did my story on riding motorcycles in Kerwinsville. I can hop on my motorcycle, pull out of my driveway, and turn left or turn right, and no matter which direction I go, it's gonna be great roads and there's gonna be great scenery. Whether I take a short trip or a long trip, you know, I know I'm gonna enjoy it. One of my favorite things to do is uh, ride with my buddy Cody. I grew up riding with him and his brother, so uh, even today, me and Cody kinda still go out and rip around the woods. Makes you feel young, you know? There's a connection but to the past, and if we're on a trail, I know his riding style, so I know that he can do this trail. 
There's just a comfort in, in knowing that somebody's a good rider. When I was younger, off-roading was all that we did. Riding was pretty much everything, so I'd go to bed at night and we would think about what we're gonna ride the next day and we'd be at school and we'd talk about, oh, as soon as we get off the school bus, we're gonna go and we're gonna go ride. And most of the time was spent on the trails in the woods and farmlands kind of that surrounded where I grew up. One of the problems now is there's a lot less places to ride, I think, on the trails than there used to be, which is too bad. But even to this day, you know, like for Friday night or Saturday night or in the day, you know, there's still dirt bikes that out here ripping around, you know, so there's still kids out there still finding places to ride. As I got older, you know, I needed to travel further, so I switched to a street motorcycle. I actually sold my trail bike to buy my street bike, so now I mostly ride street bike. I like to ride because no matter what's going on, let's say I'm stressing about a project at work or there's something going on with the family, no matter what's happening, I can always just jump on the motorcycle and, and ride, you know, and, and as long as I'm on the bike, I'm not really thinking about anything else, you know, I'm just enjoying the road and the wind and the scenery and everything else kind of just blanks out. I like living in Kerwinsville because I really like a uh, small town kind of rural atmosphere. Just off my back deck, there's, you know, I can see the creek, there's the woods. My kids run around and play. There's never any traffic. Basically, the things I enjoy, which is mostly being outdoors, whether it's on a motorcycle or whether it's sitting by a campfire, I can do all those things, you know, in my backyard, basically, or down the street or up the road. Everything that I want to do is kind of right here, so that's what I like about it. There's more to come as we explore the towering boulders of Bilger's Rocks. Learn what's being done to help some folks heat their homes and see what high schoolers are doing to add a little art to the town. But first, please show your support for Kirkwinsville and WPSU by making a pledge. Thanks. Hi, we're taking a short break in our town, Kernsville, to take your pledge at 1-800-245-9779. Hi, I'm Greg Peterson. The people behind me are from Kernsville. They'll help make this program possible. They went out and shot and they did the narration. So show your support for them by calling 1-800-245-9779. Thanks to Linda Moore and Emma and Ella. They're from Rockton, Pennsylvania. Also, Del Bright and Dan and Del Bright from Bullsburg. Pennsylvania. Thank you very much, Dell, for doing that. And uh, Bradley uh, Salva from more in Pennsylvania. So we're getting people all over. Uh, if, if you didn't hear, we're streaming this live at WPSU.org slash live. So if you know somebody who's moved away from the area, quick, give them a call. Say, tune in. Go to your computer at WPSU.org slash live. You can watch the show. You can see all the people answering the phones. It's 1-800-245-9779. We're raising the funds it takes to purchase, produce, broadcast programs on your public TV station, WPSU. So make a pledge, show your support for your public TV station and for Currensville by making a pledge right now. And with some great thank you gifts, here's Lindsay. Thanks, Greg. That's right. We do have some great ways to say thank you. At a $75 pledge, we will thank you with your very own DVD of Our Town Kerwinsville. Or at a $120 pledge level, we will send you two DVDs, one to keep and one to share. 1-800-245-9779 is the number to call. We have some folks that have called in already that we want to be sure to thank. Thank you to Jennifer Moore from Kerwinsville and also to Claude Bloom of Kerwinsville. Thank you so much for your support. If you are watching and you have not called in yet, now is a great time to do so. We have some phones open. We have a few minutes left on this break before we get back to lots more great stories coming up on Our Town Kerwinsville. And if you're new to the Our Town series, we should tell you, we don't pick the stories. The way that the, the program goes, we go to a town and we invite community members to tell us what are the important stories because we recognize it's only people who live in a community who truly know the heart of it, what makes it unique, what makes it special. And we invite those storytellers to share and tell the stories of their own towns. That is something you do not find anywhere else. You definitely don't find it on commercial television. It is a WPSU staple of a program. This community storytelling, this public supported community television, and it is all made possible through viewers like you who took the time to make a call. 1-800-245-9779. And I am joined in the studio by Bill Wallace, who is a very integral part of the R-Town series. Bill is the one who puts the whole show together. Bill? 
it's quite an interesting uh, job putting this show together. The folks who are behind me right now or on the phones are quite a few of the folks who came to uh, to us to do their stories, to present their own stories. And I take all the material that they give us and I bring it together in a, shall we say, more coherent package in some cases, a more condensed package. And it's really, really great to see the community involvement here. And, and one of the things that I've told people about this show in particular, this show really gives you a sense of how together the folks in this town are. We, we see a lot of people being very generous with their time and their money and their, their enthusiasm to try and prove how how much this town and the people in it mean to them. And I think you can see that coming through. The, we've seen one uh, block already. We've got a couple more coming up. Uh, I've, we've, we've seen some really, really interesting, interesting stories. And, and one of the new ones that's coming up next is a story about a natural feature called Bilger's Rocks, which is a real, really cool place. The great part about television is you get a chance to see how really, really cool these places are. And if you'd like to be able to show your support for being able to bring these kind of programs to you, then support Kerwinsville, support your public television station with a pledge at 1-800-245-9779. And if you happen to be streaming the program tonight from anywhere in the country or around the world, the address is WPSU.org. And there are a couple of people I'd like to thank. We got a call from Frank Eisenhower from Lewis Center, Ohio, watching online. We greatly appreciate that. And a call from Bonnie Stanley of Reynoldsville, who wants to thank uh, Rob and Bonnie Stanley, Phoebe, Elsie, and Julie Stanley, all supporters of public television, all supporters of our town, Kerwinsville. I'm gonna throw it back to Greg because I think he might have some other people to thank. Well, throw it to me, and I've, as I look over my shoulder, there are three phones still open, so if you had trouble getting through, call right now at 800-245-9779. Bill is much too modest. He takes great care and pride in pulling all these stories together so it, it makes a, tells a great story about the town. So he spends a lot of time. We lock him in a room. We feed him once in a while, but it's great what he does to make the shows come alive. Uh, thank you to Adam and Jennifer Bell of Atlanta, Pennsylvania for calling in their pledge. Don't forget for a pledge of $75 or more, we can send you a DVD copy of the show, Our Town Kernsville, or for $120, we can send you two copies. Keep one, send one to somebody else, or give it as a gift. Uh, you can charge on your Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover. So call us at 800-245-9779. And if you make a pledge of $60 or more, uh, you can also get the WPSU Passport Service, which is uh, ways to stream PBS programming, a uh, huge and deep catalog, and we'll send you information about that too. 1-800-245-9779. Make your pledge or phone volunteers as I look over my shoulder. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, four phones, not busy, so give them a call. 1-800-245-9779. They're complaining in the top row to not getting any pledges. Give them a pledge. That's right, give them a pledge. 1-800-245-9779. Your pledge dollars go to Pay It Forward for the next Our Town in our series. This is episode 92. We want to get to 93 and 94, and it's only possible for us to do that when people like you say, these programs matter to me. This community storytelling matters. It has a place in my life. I see value in it, and I want it to continue. You feel that way, and we haven't heard from you yet. Now is a great time. We do have phones open. 1-800-245-9779. At a $75 pledge level, we'll send you a DVD of Our Town Kerwinsville, or at a $120 pledge level, we will send you two DVDs. You can call 1-800-245-9779 or go online at WPSU.org and you can know that your dollars support the Our Town series, you support public television, all of the programs that you find on WPSU are made possible through that phone call. So don't wait, 1-800-245-9779. We will be back with lots more great stories to show, but there are just a couple minutes left in this break, so if you haven't called, it's a great time to do it. Bill? I want to tell you about one of the things that we're able to do occasionally with these programs. We get a lot of story material in sometimes that doesn't really 
match up with the way we put the program together for the air. So there are some things on the DVD that you'll be able to get with the pledge of $75 this evening that you won't be able to see tonight. And one of the features uh, on the, the what we call them bonus features, is a piece that uh, was put together a few years back by a uh, Kerwinsville native. Uh, his name was uh, William Smokey Osborne. Uh, as part of a doctoral project at Case Western University, he put together a history of Kerwinsville using postcards and old photographs and narrated it. And it's a really, really nice story of the early days up to the, uh, uh, the last 20, 30 years of Kerwinsville that was a little bit too long to put in the program, but it's a really, really nice feature, and it's got a lot of homegrown appeal to it. And the only way you're going to be able to see it is by making a pledge of support this evening to 1-800-245-9779 or going to wpsu.org and uh, going about whatever is necessary on the web page to uh, provide some information to us. Uh, the phone process takes a couple of minutes. I'm told the web pro process is just as quick. Uh, and along those lines are a couple of people I would like to thank who have done that. Uh, we got a pledge of support from Bill and Sue Fulton of Kerwinsville. Appreciate that greatly. And speaking of the people who are watching us online, we got a phone call from, or a, a web pledge from uh, Julie Hall uh, from Denver, Colorado. Uh, who is watching us online and we really appreciate the people who are streaming us and showing their support even from far away. And I'm going to throw it back to Greg just in case he might have a couple of other people he'd like to thank. And I caught it. 1-800-245-9779. Make your pledge. Don't forget a $75 pledge. We can send you a DVD copy of the show, Our Town Kernsville. $120, we can send you two copies. Our way of saying thanks for supporting WPSU, your public TV station. Uh, we started this project in 1996 as a way for us to connect with the communities that we serve throughout central Pennsylvania. It's been a great way for us to connect with the communities. We're here in central Pennsylvania. We have transmitter that has signals all, all the way up to the north, to the New York state line, all the way down to Somerset. So we have a huge <laughs> coverage area and we wanted something that made the public part of public TV. So thanks to Fred and Emma Greeno of Kerwinsville for calling in a pledge. Also Paula Haley wants to give a shout out to Dee Holland in Kerwinsville. So thank you very much for making your pledge. You can make your pledge. It's very easy to do. You call the number on your screen. You talk to one of our volunteers. I look over my shoulder. There's one, two, there's about five or six phones open, not busy. They're waving at the camera. Call 1-800-245- 9779. We're going back to the show in just a minute or two. Now's your chance to make your pledge to support your public TV station. That's what this is all about, supporting public TV. Lindsay? Thanks, Greg. We have some uh, folks who called in to say to make their pledge of support around our town, Kernsville, that we would like to thank. We'd like to give a shout out to Ken from Clearfield. Thank you so much for your pledge of support around this program. We have uh, Mayor Cartley from Kerwinsville. Um, we have, let's see, um, Elizabeth Lezer um, of Lezer Lumber, who really enjoyed the piece on Lezer Lumber, and her daughter and grand Julie and grandson Jonathan are here answering the phone. So why don't you give uh, Julie and Jonathan a call tonight? Thank you so much for that pledge of support. And then we also have a call from uh, Nancy Bartell, who is the Bartell family that we learned earlier started the, the Bailey uh, Quarry when they came from Italy. Um, and that's a call that came in around this program to pledge support. So thank you for those calls. We are still waiting to hear from you. If you have not made your call, this is a good time to do it. We have a couple more minutes before we go back to the many more great stories mm -hmm. we have coming up for you about Kerwinsville and this wonderful community. But that means there's still time to make a call because it only takes a minute or two, 1-800 245-9779 and that one to two minute call lasts so much longer. You are investing in the legacy of public television of the Our Town series of this community programming that you don't find anywhere else. Again at a $75 pledge we will send you your own DVD of Our Town Kerwinsville 
or at $120, we will send you two DVDs, but you get to know that all of those dollars and any amount go right back into the programs, programs like the Our Town series. Again, this is episode 92, and we've only sustained it for 92 episodes because of people like you who made a call, made a pledge of support that let us know that these programs are valued and that you want them to continue. 1-800-245-9779. Bill? Four. We have four phones available. We have four phones available. There are people sitting here waiting to take your pledge. 1-800-245-9779 is the number, and we would greatly appreciate hearing from you. We have the folks from Kerwinsville who drove over this evening to answer the phones for us, and we're keeping them busy, but I'd like to make them just a little bit busier if it's at all possible. I'd like to thank a couple of people who have called in already. Uh, Deborah Stanton from Rochester, New Hampshire called in, uh, streaming us online, uh, which we really appreciate and uh, encourage if you can't get us on the local cable system, streaming us is the next best way to go. Uh, we have an anonymous call from Hopwood, Pennsylvania, and Diane Leahy from State College play, uh, called in uh, uh, with a shout out to the Safeman family. And we appreciate all those calls. Uh, I want to reiterate, these, these folks back here have come together and put an awful lot of effort into making sure that this program came together. Uh, we're the assembly. They're the manufacturer. Uh, they come to us with their stories. They bring their videos. They bring their still pictures. They bring all the stuff that they can scrounge from attics and basements and their own shoe leather to go out and bring in pictures and and we put it together and we tell their help them tell their stories uh, as Lindsay said the, the the really really cool thing about our town is that we're not telling them what they should tell us we're saying bring your stories to us tell us what you think is important tell us the things that you think are cool or exciting or educational, the stuff that fascinates you about your town, they bring it to us, we put it together, and we put it on the air so that people have an opportunity to show their town the way they'd like it to be seen instead of the way circumstances may bring it in some cases. And folks have appreciated what we've been doing on this program for 20 years. and. Greg is the, 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 the man responsible for bringing it all to us in the first place, but there's a few of us who've been doing it around here for quite a while, and, and we're just as passionate about doing this show here as the folks in these towns are about us coming to them. So if you agree that that sort of programming needs to be rewarded and reinforced and continued, Call us at 1-800-245-9779. Go to WPSU.org, make a pledge of support, and we will be happy to send you, for a $75 pledge, a copy of tonight's program, Our Town Kerwinsville, or for a pledge of $120, we'll send you two copies so that you can do one for yourself and one for your friends, neighbors, relatives, anybody you think might be worthy of it. I think Greg might have a couple more people to thank, and I'd like to thank Greg. Well, thank you. Every time you hear the sound, that means an angel gets its wings and we get another member of WPSU. So call with your pledge. Carol and Donald Quigley of Kerwinsville called in. Thank you very much, Carol and David. Or Carol and Donald, I'm sorry, Carol and Donald Quigley. Also, we've heard from Curtis McDonald in Pittsburgh, who wants to give a shout out to his grandparents, John and Beulah McDonald, for introducing him to WPSU programs 30 years ago. Great pledge. Thank you, Curtis. And also we heard from uh, Randy Caldwell with Rand and Randy and Deborah Caldwell of Du Bois, Pennsylvania. They called in the pledge. All these people supporting public broadcasting and the Currensville program tonight at 800-245-9779. $75 pledge. You get a copy of the program, Our Town Currensville, $120. We can send you two copies. It's our way of saying thanks for your pledge to your public TV station, WPSU. Give us a call. The phones are uh, not busy. So come on, give us a call, 800-245-9779. Lindsay? 
We have some people who've called in that we want to thank. Uh, we have uh, Nick, Nicole, and Riley Selner who gave a pledge in honor uh, in memory of Barry and Kay Selner from Grampian, Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for your pledge. Uh, we have uh, Barbara Hastings from San Antonio, Texas. This is always what's fun about our town is seeing the people all around the country who have a connection to these communities. So let's hear from some more folks around the country who have a special place in their heart for Kerwinsville. Thank you for that pledge. Uh, and then we have uh, Heather Olson. Um, Heather um, Olson and Robert uh, Desmet and their families from Kerwinsville, Pennsylvania. Thank you for that pledge. We, the pledge we want to thank that we haven't gotten to yet is your pledge. If you've not made that call, 1-800-245-9779 is the number you want to call now. We have a couple of minutes, plenty of time to make it. You can also go online at WPSU.org. But the important thing, however you choose to make that pledge, is that you make it, that you say with your pledge, I value the Our Town series. I have pride in my town. I want to support the community of Kerwinsville and the public television station that brought me the stories from this community. 1-800-245-9779. Again, at a $75 pledge level, we will thank you with your own copy of Our Town Kerwinsville on DVD. Or at a $120 pledge level, we'll send you two DVDs. It's a great gift. For that person in your life maybe who have you a family member who's moved away but still has a special connection to the community it's a great way to keep in touch and to maintain your your pride and all the wonderful unique aspects of life in kerwinsville 1-800-245-9779 we have phones open again if you haven't called please do so we've got time left in the show but why wait make the call now get it off your to-do list and you can sit back relax and enjoy the show and we always say you don't want to be that person walking around who doesn't have their copy of our town Kerwinsville this is something that will live on and that will be a treasure for you and your family and your community to share to reflect on the special things that make Kerwinsville Kerwinsville 1-800-245-9779 Bill it's always hard to follow Lindsay because it, it, she's just so so smooth and and uh, about in the way she delivers her her comments about this program and and about the show i i want to thank a couple people real quick and i'll we're going to go back to the program in a minute or two uh and i want to throw a couple of ideas at you for the, some stories that are coming up next uh john and doreen beard from kerwinsville called in with a pledge and we received an anonymous web pledge so you don't have to call you can call at 1-800-245-9779. You can go to WPSU.org and take care of things on the web. And I'll thank somebody else right here. Lucy Passarelli from Kerwinsville called in with a pledge of support, and we greatly appreciate that. Uh, stay tuned. We've got some really, really good stories coming up, and we will be back in a few minutes after that. But don't be afraid to call while we're on the air. 1-800-245-9779. And thank you. You can also make your contribution at WPSU.org. Click on Donate at the top of the page. It's always available and easy to use. Thanks. I'm Terry O'Connor, and I'm here to tell you about Belgers Rocks and the surrounding forest. Bilger's Rocks is quite unique. It's a, a perpetual monument. It's not like man-made things. It's here and gone. The rocks has been there for over 300 million years. It's probably the best natural site in central Pennsylvania for deep time studies. Archaeology, uh, anthropology, things of that nature. Man's always been attracted to large mega rocks. We found paleo native artifacts on the surface up there. That takes them back better than 10,000 years. The uh, original Shemokin Katanning Benango Trail went through here. It's probably the earliest east-west crossing of the state of Pennsylvania. We have a wonderful archeological area up there. We got unusual climate there. We have uh, some unusual plants. You can see bear and deer, and uh, occasionally we even have elk or two. We, you can hear them at, uh, in the fall. We have some uh, one of the best birding places in the state to go to. Because of the old trees and stuff we have there, we have a wonderful owl population. People like to go up there and check owls out. It's a fun place to go. 
Right now, it's almost a self-discovery thing, except when you go up on days that some of us are there. When we're there, we will escort you through and show you what we know. Eventually, we hope to have that, that you can go up there and using the present technology we have on phones, be able to point at something and find out what you're looking at. It's a good place for recreation. It's a good place for people to go out and just lay back and relax. We uh, want to make that a place that where Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts and uh, kids groups are welcome. We try to make it family friendly and uh, just try to make it a good, wonderful place for people to come and enjoy themselves. In the real life, I, for years, was a, what they call a social worker, a counselor. My studies have been in deep time, archaeology, geology, that sort of thing. In my retirement, I've dedicated myself towards uh, helping the young people when they come up. And Bilger's Rocks is a perfect place to have it. My name is George Cannon, and I'm here to talk about the Kerwinsville Fuel Aid Program. The Kerwinsville uh, Fuel Aid Program is administered by the Kerwinsville Ministerial Association, and it's really reflective, I think, of the character of our community. About 10 years ago, someone approached one of our pastors about doing something to help the needy in our community. Typically, when folks ask those questions, they want to help with food. Well, there's lots of programs that help with food. So the pastor said, why not do something that nobody's doing, and that's taking care of heating? Because winter always comes, and you got to heat your house. So he was thinking like Willie Nelson's uh, farm aid. So he decided to do fuel aid, and it ended up starting out as a concert. So they raised funds with this concert, local talent, for the ministerium to help people with whatever their heating needs were. And it's actually grown from there. The funds are specifically given by folks in the community. It's specifically for folks who have a heating need. So we'll buy fuel oil as most of our purchases. Some folks heat with coal, so we'll buy them three ton of coal. Some folks heat with propane. That's the most expensive, so we'll get them a tank of propane. Or some folks, it's simply gas or their electric bill, depending on what they heat. And so it kind of gives them about a one month grace period. And for some families, that's a lot. You typically, we help out about 50 family units per year. In the last 10 years, it's been 10 years now, there's been a quarter of a million dollars given uh, to help folks in our community. Actually, most of the funds come right from our community, from our civic groups. We got local businesses that are giving money, we've got churches that are giving money, individuals that are giving money, even some of our school booster clubs have donated. The 5K is organized by Dreyer Physical Therapy. They organize it and have sponsors for it and they give a significant portion of money for, for fuel aid. We'll get a letter saying, you know, you helped my son. We didn't even know we helped their son. And here's a donation saying for the fuel program. So it's a community giving back. There's a genuine caring in our community, which is what I think Fuel Aid is reflective of. When you look at the people who are involved, whether it's local musicians involved in the yearly concerts to raise funds, or the people who come out and pay $15 to run 5K to get just a t-shirt, I think it really reflects the character of our community, that we care. Hi, my name is Shana Franson, and I'm here to speak about the four service organizations in Kerwinsville, as well as the Clearfield County Fair Queen Queens for a Cause program. The first organization would be the Kerwinsville BPW, which stands for Business and Professional Women's Club. It is an organization dedicated to the betterment of women, but of course they are very service um, oriented as well. Um, they have lots of different events throughout the year. They have a um, dance called Dancing Away the Winter Blues. They collect um, funds from that and then they disperse them throughout the community for all different kinds of things that the community needs. The second organization would be the GFWC Women's Club of Carwinsville. They are also very community oriented. 
the band shell in the Irvin Park. The Kerwinsville Women's Club was the organization that donated all of the money to have that band shell built. The third organization would be the Kerwinsville Lions Club. Lions Club International, they have a project for sight. They bring that right here to Kerwinsville. If there's somebody in this community that needs an eye exam, they need glasses, they're the ones that will make sure that they get the funds that they need to go and get the eye exam and get the glasses that they need right here in Kerwinsville. So that's a wonderful program. They also do a lot of fun things for the community as well. They're in charge of the Halloween parade for town. They make sure that all of the children in the town receive treats for Halloween. And then the fourth organization would be the Kerwinsville Rotary. It's a small club, but it's a mighty club. Looking around the town right now, out on the streets, you can see street banners that says Kerwinsville welcomes you and the American flags that fly down State Street and Filbert Street in Kerwinsville. The snowflake lights at Christmas time and the Home for the Holiday banners are also a really large project that the Kerwinsville Rotary does as well. They have a dictionary project. The Rotary donates a dictionary to every third grade student in the whole Kerwinsville School District. It's a really great literacy project to promote literacy worldwide for Rotary as well. One thing that all of the organizations do are scholarships, and that's really great to um, back up the youth of our community through those scholarships. Queens for a Cause is a program through the Clearfield County Fair Queen Committee. When it originally started, it was called Queens for Kids, and it raised funds solely for the Children's Miracle Network. The Fair Queen donates a portion of the funds that they raise to the Children's Miracle Network, and then they donate another portion to a charity of their choosing. So it can reach far beyond. I have been involved with the service organizations as long as I can remember. Service above self is the big motto for our family, and giving back to the community is so important to me, and so that's why I got involved into the service organizations, and I got involved at a young age. What makes Kerwinsville so special is we work together. For 25 years, all four service organizations have been working together. They have actually formed a um, committee called COG, which stands for Kerwinsville On The Go. They're working on a streetscape project. The streetscape project is going to make downtown Kerwinsville look fabulous again. And so we're really excited to be a part of that so you can look down State Street and know that all of those great people with the huge hearts that live in this community have put forth their best effort to make Kerwinsville the greatest that it can be. My name is Doug Bloom, and I'm going to talk about the Kerwinsville Veterans Memorial Park. I'm a retired U.S. Navy veteran. It's important to me to honor the veterans and just remember the sacrifices that they made for our country. The Veterans Memorial Park is located on State in Locust Street. And the first memorial that was built there was built by the Kerbinville American Legion Auxiliary in 1925. It was a World War I memorial. We had over 200 men serve in World War I, and seven actually made the ultimate sacrifice and lost their lives in that war. In 2014, we rededicated the memorial. It had gotten corroded and needed a lot of work. I was the uh, chairman of the rededication ceremony and we worked on that and raised $10,000 through community funds. Originally it was dedicated on Flag Day 1925 and uh, we rededicated that on Flag Day 2014 on the 89th anniversary. The other memorial that's in the park is the Civil War Bucktail Memorial and that memorial was dedicated in 2003 and that honors all of the um, Civil War veterans that served from Kerbinsville. After the World War I ceremony, the rededication ceremony, I was approached by um, several living World War II veterans to see if we might consider doing a World War II memorial to honor them. There's a great patriotic spirit here in Kerbinsville to honor the veterans. And we raised $80,000 in 18 months. And we dedicated the World War II Memorial on September 4th, 2016. And we were able to honor all of our living World War II veterans at that ceremony. We had 15 living World War II veterans and a, had a great turnout from the town of about 300 people. So it was just a great ceremony and uh, it was a great community project. And what's unique about that memorial is that is all Kerbinville stone. It all came out of the quarries of Kerbinville, so it's all sandstone. 
The Veterans Memorial itself is a very beautiful location with the World War I Memorial, the Civil War Memorial, and the World War II Memorial. So it's a nice place to go to reflect on what the veterans did. It's just a good way to learn about what took place in this country and the sacrifice these people made for the freedom that we have today. So there's a lot to do here, particularly um, outdoors. And uh, there's a lot of pride in the town. And we're working on a lot of projects to um, beautify the town. So it, it, but it continues to be a good place to work and live. And it just has a real sense of community uh, and small town spirit. My name is Sue Lamo. I am an art teacher. This is my 26th year teaching at the Kerwinsville School District. And my students and I have been working on a mural in a pedestrian underpass under the railroad bridge that takes you into town as you enter Kerwinsville. We started the project in April of 2016. We were asked to do it by the Kerwinsville Revitalization Committee and I was given free reign with the idea. And I came up with the idea of using vintage postcards and travel postcards and advertising postcards as a way to show snapshots of Kerwinsville history. The tunnel, when we first went down, uh, was painted curb yellow. It was a really neat space, and it was a space that a lot of people used, but it really needed, it needed something to show the love. We tried to highlight a little bit of industry, business in the community, families in the community, a little of the school spirit in it. The kids helped pick some things. We picked some scenes. We were looking at things that people who grew up here but maybe moved away, if they came back, it would bring back a lot of good memories for them. We did the Kerwin coat of arms. We did the Native American tribe that were in this area first. We have the railroad bridge over the Susquehanna River in Harrisburg, which was done with stone from the quarries in Kerwinsville, where my great-grandfather worked. The postcard I did with my family was a group of young women from the Catholic Daughters of America from Memorial Day 1917. Students helped to devise the images. Once I kind of gave them the general idea, they got to pick what they wanted to do. So they did things that they were interested in and liked to paint. It was a fun collaborative project. Oh my goodness, we had so much help. Uh, Dee Holland really spearheaded the project. The fire company hosed everything down. Some of the maintenance crew at school did a little prep work for me. What I was hearing from the community, we were surprised. I mean, it's a pedestrian tunnel. While we were working, people were walking through. And then I would be out walking in town and people would say, oh, we're gonna walk by the, the mural again later this week. We, we, we wanted to see what you got finished. And, oh, my grandfather worked there. Or, wow, we used to go to Pee Wee's Nest all the time when we were kids. So I think it brought back a lot of memories for people. And it was an opportunity for families to share those memories with younger members of the family. I've been blessed to teach here for 26 years. I have had some of the most remarkable young people. It's been a gift. Anybody who doesn't work with teenagers doesn't understand how great so many of them are. It's a great community because we have such good kids and they have great families that they come from and that, that's what makes a community. Stick around as we show you how the Kerwinsville community is re-energizing the downtown. We'll also see what one citizen is doing to make the area a great place to fish. And we'll tell you what the magic is in the sauce. But first, please show your support for Kerwinsville and WPSU by making a pledge. Thanks. All right, welcome back. Hi, friends. I'm Scott, and uh, this is WPSU, your public television station, as we're all enjoying Our Town Kerwinsville tonight. Uh, we still have one more segment to go, so don't go anywhere. We have some interesting stories. I just saw spaghetti and meatballs on the screen, which apparently is coming up in the next segment. I'm not going anywhere, okay? I love that. So we need you to ring the phones, though, at 1-800-245-9779. This is part of our fundraising campaign this week, and we're looking for your phone calls. If you're from Kerwinsville, if you're from Clearfield, Grampian, Clearfield County, neighboring areas, doesn't matter. If you support public television, if you enjoy the great programs you see here on Channel 3 WPSU, like our Our Town series, tonight is Kerwinsville's night. We need your help. We need your help to help pay for the programs that we all enjoy 
watching on our televisions at home, but it only happens when you call the number at 1-800-245-9779. So if you're enjoying the segment and you're thinking, all right, now it's time to call, there we go. 1-800-245-9779. Now, Mr. TV Director, do me a favor, put up the shot of all of our phone volunteers, if you will. We've juggled the chairs a little bit. My friend Kathy, who's on the phone right now, that's actually her very first phone call tonight. Across from her is my new friend Bobby. He's on phone number two now. He hasn't gotten a phone call yet. Bobby, give a wave. There he is, okay? So I'm throwing the challenge down here for everybody. We want to get all nine phones busy at the same time. That would be fantastic. All these folks have given up their time tonight to come over from the Kerwinsville area to uh, volunteer answering our phones. So let's put them to work. 1-800-245-9779. Give a ring. Let's make them work. Um, whatever pledge amount, that, that's completely up to you. And we'll talk about some of our special giveaways uh, in just a little bit. First, we do have some thank yous, as always, again tonight. We have one from Pam Wilkinson of Kerwinsville. Now, there's a note here that the Wilkinson family apparently is vacationing tonight in Virginia, and they are watching on the live stream. That's cool. Everyone's really enjoying the program. Well, Pam, that's cool. Thank you very much for your support. Also, we have Roger Bressler from Kerwinsville. Roger, very, uh, thank you very much for your very kind contribution. And we have Catherine Zwolski Shope from Lock Haven who called in with a very nice pledge. And she has a note, hello to all the Zwolskis in Kerwinsville. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not from Kerwinsville, but I'm assuming there's a bunch of Zwolskis in Kerwinsville. That's funny to say, but there it is. All right. If you want to call in and thank somebody in town or something like that, hey, you're more than welcome. 1-800-245-9779 is the phone number to dial. And let me toss it now to Lindsay. Thanks, Scott. We have some more thank yous, which is great. We love seeing all the support around our town, Kerwinsville. We have a thank you for um, Connor, Michael, and Chris Hall from Snowshoe PA and uh, Chris uh, Safeman from Burlington, Vermont. We also uh, want to thank uh, Ron and Mary Kay um, Writer from Kerwinsville and uh, Mary Ellen Reed from Kerwinsville. Mary Ellen is part of the closing production, and that is what's great about these pro this program is that you get to see so many faces from the community. And you know what? It is really quiet right now. So if you haven't made your call, this is this is the time to do it. There's all these phones available. These wonderful volunteers who gave up their time to come in and talk to you. So 1-800-245. There we go. That is more like at 9779. At a $75 pledge level, we will thank you with the DVD of tonight's program, Our Town Kerwinsville. Or at $120, we will thank you with two DVDs of this program. 1-800-245-9779 is the number you want to call to make that pledge of support around the Our Town series, around the town of Kerwinsville, around public television. It is only on public television that you can find the Our Town series, that you can find this program that goes into the heart of communities in Pennsylvania and says, you tell us what's important. You tell us the story of your town. And that is what we bring to you. We bring to you, we don't go in and dictate. We say, you tell us, we serve you. And we can only continue to serve you if those pledges come in. 1-800-245-9779. Those pledge dollars go into all the programs, not just the R Town. You are paying it forward for future R Towns, but they also go into the regular programs like News Hour, like Nova and Masterpiece and Nature, American Experience. Whatever your program of choice is, know that your dollars go to continue that programming. They go to keep it around for you and the rest of your community to enjoy, to stay engaged. 1-800-245-977-LINE. You can also go online at WPSU.org. Whatever way you choose to give, the important thing is that you take the time to make a pledge of support around public television, around the Our Town series, and around the town of Kerwinsville. I'm going to toss it now to uh, the uh, extraordinary Bill Walls, who puts all this show together. Bill? I get more compliments when I work this program than I have ever gotten. I don't think I've ever been called extraordinary <laughs> before. Thank you, Lindsay. Um, there are several people who have called in or uh, logged in on the web that I would like to thank uh, for getting in touch with us this evening and pledging their support for this program and public broadcasting. Rod Eisenhower from Indiana, Pennsylvania. Uh, Kathy Wiggins from Kerwinsville. Uh, Larry Bressler uh, in memory uh, of uh, Woody and Vivian Bressler uh, from Kerwinsville. 
uh, Ed and Lou Richards from Kerwinsville. And uh, Jane Hall from State College called in uh, with a shout out to Julie and John Safeman who are working hard here at WPSU answering phones this evening. And I do want to say, I did see a couple of moments ago that Bobby was on the phone. So we want to thank you for that, keeping him busy, making his drive over here this evening. And there he is, ringing the bell. Nicely done, all of you out there watching tonight to make him feel like he actually made the trip for a good solid reason. Um, there's one thing I'd like to do sort of I, I tend to get philosophical about this show because I've been working on it for so long and I still really, really enjoy what I do with this program. I heard somebody talking a couple of weeks ago about the fact that we're all so busy nowadays sort of writing and living our own stories that we quite often don't have a chance to listen to other people's stories. And that's what this show is all about. This show gives people the opportunity to come together and tell us what's important about where they live and the people they live with. And these are the kind of stories that we need to take a break and listen to because it makes our lives better having heard them. And we have commercial television networks all over our coverage area who cover the bigger towns, cover the, the the stories that you need to know about, but you're not necessarily feeling a whole lot better after you've heard them. Here at WPSU, with this show in particular, we give people an opportunity to tell us and all of you what makes things very special in their own lives. And we really appreciate that opportunity. If you do, call us at 1-800-245-9779 or go to WPSU.org and make a pledge of support for this program. Scott? All right, we've kept Kathy and Bobby pretty busy during this segment. That's great because they hadn't had a phone call. They were at the end of the line uh, earlier in the evening. So we kind of shuffled the line and they're both on the phones. The problem is most everybody else isn't. Mm, that's a problem. Let's see if we can get all nine phones ringing with your pledge of support at 1-800-245-9779. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can contribute whatever you want to contribute. You set the dollar amount. What is the value? What maybe fits into your budget and so on? It could be small, could be big, doesn't matter to us. We're looking for more WPSU members, folks saying, I value this program. I'm enjoying this program. I want to do my part. Now, we do have a couple of special levels tonight, so let's put those on the screen. For a $75 pledge, you will get a DVD copy of this program tonight. And uh, as you're looking there on the screen, if you're from anywhere near Kerwinsville, you look at that picture and you say, bingo, Kerwinsville, you know it immediately. For a donation of $120 or more, we would be happy to give you two copies of this program. The idea being you keep one and you give one to someone who's special or maybe a former Kerwinsville folks who lives in some far off place now or something like that. That's all it takes. But again, you set the donation amount you wish. Whatever works for your budget uh, is fine with us at 1-800-245-9779. I'm going to throw in two words we've had. If you've been following news today, we've had all this, what do you call it, bloviating out of Washington, blah, 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 okay? When I think of Washington, there's only two words that actually kind of make me smile. Tax deduction. There we go. That actually makes me smile. Don't forget, you make your uh, uh, contribution. Yeah, tax deduction gets put in there. Let's mention a couple of these folks. We have Larry Crittenden from West Decatur. Larry, thank you very much for your kind donation of support. And we have Donna Daub of Kerwinsville. Donna, thank you also very much for your kind donation of support. Phones are starting to pick up a little bit now. If you enjoy programs like this, you want to be a part and you want to make sure that this series keeps going. Again, we're on program number 92. <laughs> Apparently, we're throwing bells around the room. I don't know what's going on there. Poof! All right, my goodness. Bill, fix that bell. Wasn't there a song, Ring My Bell? But no, we're not going to do that kind of stuff. No, we'll just go. All right, 1-800-245-9779. I'm going to smoothly give it over to Lindsay. Thanks, Scott. Uh, we have another thank you. We want to say thank you to Gal Reed from Kerwinsville. Thank you for your call and your pledge of support around this program. If you have not called yet, 
Phones are open. Frankly, it's a little quiet in here. We would love to hear from you. 1-800-245-9779. At a $75 pledge level, we'll send you a DVD of Our Town Kerwinsville. Or at $120 pledge level, we'll send you two DVDs. But you know, those are really just suggested pledge levels. Say you're, you don't need a DVD, you're good, you, but you still want to support the program. You can make a pledge in any amount that you are able to give, any amount that you feel moved to give. We appreciate each and every dollar, each and every call of support. 1-800-245-9779 is the number to call to make that pledge of support and to say that you value the programs like Our Town. This really is a remarkable series that is one of a kind that was originated on WPSU that has lived on through 92 episodes because every time we do it, we see such tremendous support around this type of program. People who say, I value this. I want to see my community featured on my local public television station and I'm so happy to to support it and to make sure that it is featured in the next town these pledges get paid forward to the next episode of the our town series so next time you turn on our town you can know my dollars made that possible me taking the time to make that call made that possible and i promise you if you've never given before that is a truly extraordinary feeling to watch a program and know that you made it possible that you have a stake in it so if you haven't called yet do not wait. Call 1-800-245-9779 to make your contribution to public television, to WPSU, and to our town, Kerwinsville. Bill? A couple more people to thank this evening. Uh, Deborah Bradshaw from Altoona uh, sent in a contribution uh, in memory of Elaine and Cecil Norris. Uh, Diane Holland of Kerwinsville with a shout out to Goodman's Food Liner. Uh, a downtown grocery store, that is a unique thing anymore and the sort of thing that needs to be encouraged. Uh, we appreciate those pledges of support and we'd like to hear more from you. Uh, we have a few people who have uh, absolutely nothing to do in the back row in particular. I'd love to see some of them uh, working a little harder tonight. Uh, they have on occasion been very busy, but we'd like to see all of them uh, working at the same time. Uh, it makes uh, the, ex the atmosphere in here uh, just that much more exciting, and uh, we know that they appreciate your calling in because it reinforces the whole idea behind the Our Town franchise and particularly lets the people from Kerwinsville know that they've done a good job with this show. So. 1-800-245-9779 is the number to call if you agree that this is the kind of programming you'd like to see on our air, uh, see it continue. We would certainly like to have that uh, be the case. Uh, WPSU.org is the way to get a hold of us on the web. And if you uh, call us at that number or uh, at that website, you can receive for a $75 pledge a copy of this program, which includes not only everything that you've seen on the air tonight to this point, but also the stories that we're going to do in the next block. And uh, a couple of bonus features uh, that are not uh, being aired tonight. Uh, in particular, there's a, a really nice one that um, I'm particularly happy with just because it's a, a real uh, homegrown piece of work out of Kerwinsville and the sort of thing that um, shows how people really, really appreciate the town they live in. For $120, we'll be happy to send you two copies. Uh, if there's a civic organization or a library you think might deserve a copy and you'd like to buy, you know, pick up two tonight and uh, donate one to uh, somebody who else who can use it, uh, we encourage that sort of thing as well. So $120 pledge will get you two copies and we are very, very happy to be able to have this kind of programming on the air and we would like to continue it and we would really, really like to see you help reinforce that idea. So I'm going to throw it back to Scott with the idea of thanking some more people who've done that tonight. And we've got more thank yous. We thank these folks. Uh, Doug and Tanya Beard from Kerwinsville. Also, I've got a note, Jack and Doreen Beard, Jean and Barbara Tubbs. I'm going to guess they're all tuned in tonight. So thank you very much for your very kind donation. Uh, Joanna McClure of Kerwinsville and David. Folks, thank you very much for supporting uh, public television. Also, Susan Wingard from Kerwinsville. Susan, thank you so much for your kind generation of support. And uh, Lisa Hahn of Phillipsburg, not that far away down the road. Lisa, thank you very much for your very kind support. Folks, it's members like you that keep all these great programs on WPSU going. 
Members contributing is the number one source of revenue for all of the programming you see here on Channel 3. No, it's not the government. It's you. It's me, you, us. Uh, listener or uh, viewers that, that watch the shows and say, I like that show. I value that show. I'm going to make a contribution to make sure that show continues. If it's Our Town, if it's news programs, if it's entertainment programs, kids programs in the morning and so on, our support, you and me, our support is what keeps the engine going at 1-800-245-9779. We're going to be going back to the program here in just a little bit. We're not done yet. We've got some more great stories about Kerwinsville to tell, so get ready for that. We've mentioned the DVDs tonight, but I'm going to mention still my absolute all-time favorite thank you gift. Yes, I'm a card-carrying member. Here's my proof. All right. For any donation of $100 or more, you will receive your very own WPSU member card. This is good for a year. I wish I could show you the back of the card, but the numbers are too tiny on the back of this card of all the different offerings that you can get just by using this card. Two for one dining, two for one attractions, two for one tourist attractions, all that sort of stuff. And all you've got to do is make a donation of $100 or more, and we will be happy to send you one of these cards Tons of places in Clearwinsville and Clearfield County, all the way up Dubois, Bradford, all the way down below Altoona, up to Lock Haven, State College, the whole zone. This card pays for itself, and we would love to send you one with any donation of $100 or more. I'm going to put my card-carrying thing right back in my pocket, because if I lose this, I'm in trouble. All right, let's get you a card. 1-800-245-9779 is the phone number to dial. If you're online, WPSU.org. If you go online, we actually have a rather substantial list of thank you gifts, so you can check them out online. But let's ring the phones. Keep our phone volunteers busy at 1-800-245-9779. Here's Lindsay. Someone was keeping them busy. We have a couple new pledges to thank. Uh, we have Renee and Randy Brewer from Grampian, Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for taking the time to call in and support tonight's program. Uh, we also want to thank uh, Rodney Swatsworth and family from Crowensville, Pennsylvania for your pledge of support. 1-800-245-9779 is the number for you to call to make your pledge of support. And I heard something wonderful. One of our uh, phone volunteers, our wonderful phone volunteers who came in to take your calls was saying, you know, I, I've lived in this town my whole life and I learned so much new in this program. And that is the magic of the Our Town series. You can live somewhere forever, but when you see it through new eyes, when you see it through maybe a community member you haven't had the chance to meet before, you see what's special to them about your town. It kind of makes, makes the town just a little bit different, makes it more of an adventure to go out on a weekend and find something to do, find something to explore, or just to look at and say, you know what, I value that in our town too. That's really special to me too, and I'm so proud to see it featured on this broadcast program. That is what our town does. Our town is really a point of pride for our production staff. We love working on this project. I was honored to be involved with the two productions now of our town, Kerwinsville, this one and one we did uh, some years ago. But this is really why we do what we do. This is what public television does, and we are so happy and proud to be able to share it with you and be able to bring these stories to light. And it is only possible because someone like you took the time to make a call of support. 1-800-245-9779. And to tell you about some of the great things we have coming up in this last block of Our Town Kerwinsville, I give it to Bill Wallace. Going back to the program in about uh, half a minute, I want to do a couple things real quick. Uh, we've got a pledge from uh, the Reverend Arlene Beechert, who is in Muncie now, but is the former pastor of the Kerwinsville uh, United Methodist Church and wants to shout out to everybody associated. Uh, the show will start in a very short order. Got some great stories coming up. 1-800-245-9779 uh, is the number. Go to WPSU.org and make your pledge of support. We'll be back shortly to talk to you some more. Thank you. You can also make your contribution at WPSU.org. Click on Donate at the top of the page. It's always available and easy to use. Thanks. My name is Dwayne Test, and I am the president of the Kerbinsville Community Center. And I would like to tell you about it. We are a nonprofit organization formed in 1948 in the Kerbinsville Borough. When it was first started in 1948, it was the veterans of the Second World War that came back and they wanted their children to have some place to go. In 1968, the center was rebuilt 
at 11 Stadium Drive in Kerbinsville, down by the Kerbinsville football field. We provide services for all kinds of groups, meeting places for the Federation of Women, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, Little League. We are the voting poll. We are the second hub of the community after the school. We have a 5,000 foot facility, newly remodeled, almost finished. This community has been great. They spent about $200,000 to help us remodel the center. We do like donations, but sometimes that doesn't happen and that's fine. On Thursday, we have Spaghetti Thursday, and that's how we are gaining money to finish the center. I go in on Thursday morning and start the spaghetti. And I have to tell you a little story. My granddad came from Italy in 1886. He brought three things with him. His stone cutting tools, his grapevine slips, and garlic. And that garlic, since 1886, has been grown in our family. Every Thursday morning, I take one clove of garlic down and put it in our sauce. And that's where the magic begins. And by the end of the day, there's 30 to 60 people enjoying spaghetti at the Curranzo Community Center. At the spaghetti suppers, there are several tables of groups who stay there. One person comes at four o'clock and doesn't leave till six because she wants the camaraderie. So it's a gathering place. And that's the magic of the Kerbinsville Community Center. I'm a native. I was born on Bailey Road in Kerbinsville. I didn't, wasn't even born in the hospital. I joined the military. I was in the United States Navy. I was a double shell back. I crossed the, the international date line twice. Except for New Zealand, there's no place nicer than right here. When my granddad moved here, it looked so much like central Italy that he said, this is our new home. So that's why we're here. And we've been here for four generations now. My name is Vanessa Snyder, and I am the secretary of the Clearfield County Rails to Trails Association. The Rails to Trails first began in 1990 um, by a man named David S. Ammerman. He was actually reading and saw coincidentally that they were restoring rail trails all over the United States and thought, well, you know, we should do this here. Our trail is actually 10 and a half miles long. The rail line was known as the Clearfield to Grampian Railroad. There was a cool tipple in Grampian. The railroad actually started in Clearfield and traveled to Grampian. The actual rail trail line has a little bit of history behind it as well. The original railroad was actually a major trading route called the Chinkalamoose. The Native Americans named that path. I thought that's pretty neat, you know, that our rail trail came from, you know, a major trading route, and then it was a railroad, and now it's part of history. I'm a runner. I've, you know, ever since I've been a young girl, I've loved running, and I've ran on the trail for many, many years. I just love it. I, I love the outdoors. I like to be, you know, on the trail. What I love about it the most is I can run with my dog without having to worrying about cars, you know, traffic, which is really nice. And it's just a beautiful place for me. It's, you know, this is the town that I grew up in, so I love being able to be in those woods. I love that about the trail, and I'm very passionate about that, so. I was born and raised here. I went to Kerbinsville Area High School, and I just feel like I should give back to this community. A lot of people, after they graduate from college or high school, they move away from here. And I feel like, you know, my passion to bring out the best in the community is here, and this is where I can do it the most. I work at a local Y, and, you know, I'm very passionate about the health and wellness of the individuals within this area. So I want to bring that out within our community. And, you know, for volunteering through the rail trail, I feel like that gives me a great opportunity to be able to do that because I can do the thing I love the most and, you know, be an inspiration to other people within the community to do that as well. My name is Patrick Domico. My story is the west branch of the Susquehanna River from Kerbinsville to Clearfield. My program is Squirrel Tales for Trout Recycling for the Future. This is in our 12th year. The community together cleaned up the west branch of the Susquehanna River. Today, the river runs beautiful years ago, 45 years ago. That was not the case. It was ugly. 
We are in approved trout water, the only section on the west branch of the Susquehanna that the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission stocks trout. We stock huge trout in this river every year from Clearfield to Kerbinville. We raise the money, Laurel Hill Trout Farm in Osterberg. They deliver the fish here. We had a stocking last year that was just monumental. We had 12 World War II veterans from this area come down and physically be a part of this huge stocking. And they range from 90 years old to 96. We have so many people that love to fish. It used to be they'd have to travel two hours to fish. Now they can go in the morning, go in the evening, bring their kids down, and they can fish it all year. We're just loaded with people with gleaming eyes and huge trout to be caught. And they stay here. That's the greatest thing is that they stay right here because the water quality is really great and people are very protective of it. These people in our town, they keep supporting me every year because they're proud of that, you know, and they want to be a part. Our people in Kerrville, they're proud people, and they never backed in the door for anything. They earned it. And if they happen to be blessed by a little bit more, they would do positive things. And I'm just extremely proud that I live here. Sometimes you get weary, but when somebody walks up to you and says, Pat, thank you for what you're doing, tears come to your eyes and say, wow, you know, what a program. Hi, I'm Ken Starr, and this is my son, Ken Starr. And we're going to talk a little bit about our winery here in Kerbinsville, Pennsylvania. The history, where we're going, what we've done, and some of the folks we've met along the way. I'd like to give you a little bit of history about our winery. I started making wine in 1952 with my dad up in Buffalo, New York. And then I went into the Air Force, was stationed in Germany, got into the German wines, came back to the States and started making wine with my brother. We still have a couple of bottles of that old wine there in 1967 sitting up there in the winery. We bought this property in 1994, built our house, and we had some land out front, so I uh, planted 12 vines and ended up with 3,000 of them, and I had to do something with all those grapes, so I started making wine again. And people liked it, so in 2005, we built the winery building. Since we opened the winery in 2005, we've grown and grown and grown. We were the first winery in the United States to be located inside of a Walmart store. And now we're in four Walmart stores, going to be in one more this year. Because of that growth, we've had to increase the size of our winery substantially. And it's given us the chance to hire 25 people. The winemaking process is, is quite the experience. We make close to 40 different types of wines. Everything from a Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec, Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, to the sweet and semi-sweet, peach, raspberry, pear, uh, Almondo, and almond maraschino cherry flavor. Our signature wine, of course, is the Bailey Road Red. It's a beautiful setting here. We overlook the mountains. Uh, we're on top of a hill. Why we call ourselves Star Hill Vineyard and Winery. It's a very, very unique place to hold an event. Recently, we've brought in the Adventure Travel TV series, the Fireball Run, the race to recover America's missing children. 40 teams throughout the United States gathered uh, here in Kerbinsville. What was unique about that is that it was the first time, I believe, ever that a TV show was filmed here in Kerbinsville. With the Fireball Run, we had the opportunity to bring a lot of folks from the outside area in. But you know, the more people that know Kerbinsville, I think the better they are. My name is Mary Ellen Reed, and I'm a longtime resident of Kerwinsville. And I'm here today to talk about the uh, Streetscape project. Streetscape is a revitalization project that has been discussed off and on in Kerwinsville for a number of years. What it is, is taking the main street of Kerwinsville, which runs from Bloomington Avenue Bridge to Ridgeview Avenue, and we're going to totally revitalize it. We're going to do new streets, new sidewalks. 
We hope to put in pocket parks, facade improvements, and to bring Kerwinsville back to where it was years ago. All the work is being done through volunteers, through the Kerwinsville Regional Development Corporation. We're going to be starting a capital campaign. We are looking for seed money we need to do the master planning. One of the areas that we're focusing on is a project called Cool and Connected to bring broadband internet service to rural areas. We want telecommuting to be an important part of the future so that we're not just doing this for today, but we're doing this for the next generation and families to come. Kerwinsville heritage includes clear back to our early Indian civilizations, and we're part of the Shemokin Trail. We have uh, areas such as Builders Rocks, we have the Kerwinsville Lake, we have rail to trails, we have a beautiful park called Urban Park that is also part of our revitalization. Getting people into Kerwinsville and the history that we have to share and the scenery we have to share, we're a good destination. Roland D. Swope Jr. wrote a book, The History of the Borough of Kerwinsville. And in that history, he made a statement. Kerwinsville has seven churches, a weekly newspaper, a national bank, fine system of graded public education, good water supply, paved streets and electric lights, and is one of the most thriving and progressive, as well as the most beautiful town in the county. Our goal is to make Kerwinsville that today. And that's Our Town Kerwinsville, a look at the Clearfield County community through the eyes of its residents. Support for Our Town Kerwinsville comes from the Kerwinsville Area Educational Association, promoting character, preparing students, and preserving our community. Information at kerwinsvilleareaea.psealocals.org. Russell Stone Products, offering distinctive dimensional building sandstone for projects around the world. Russell Stone, over 100 years of history with our town, Kerwinsville. Star Hill Vineyard and Winery, established in 2005 with four generations of winemakers bringing the old world ambiance to Kerwinsville, Pennsylvania and beyond. The Area Transportation Authority, providing reliable, safe public transit to riders across six counties, serving senior citizens, commuters, and the disabled, and stimulating business throughout our region. ATA, rural transportation for our town Kerwinsville and beyond. And viewers like you, thank you. Folks, take a look at these credits. Uh, these are the folks who made this show possible. These are the folks who assisted us with meetings and helping hand out the cameras that people shot with and the volunteers who provided us with the stories and the pictures and all the rest of the stuff that we needed in order to put this show together. These are the members of your community who came together to help us make this show possible. And from here on out, their work is done, but your work this evening continues. A phone call from you at 1-800-245-9779 or a pledge of support at WPSU.org would be greatly appreciated. And something to tell us and them that you think what they did was a wonderful thing and that the programming that we are doing is the sort of thing that should continue here on your public broadcasting station and with the folks who are who are working on this project so the phones have been a little busy a little not busy uh, we'd love to see the, to tell you the truth, I'd like to see everybody busy one more time at the same time tonight. 
I think it would be a really, really good thing if we could get everybody on the phones at the same time, but we need you to do that for us. 1-800-245-9779 is the number. WPSU.org is the website. If you have the opportunity, we would greatly appreciate your assistance. For that pledge of support at the $75 level, we will be happy to send you a copy of the show that just aired. The entire program, every story that you saw, in addition to that, there's a bonus feature or two that were not part of what we put on the air tonight, and I think they're worth including in the process. I won't say that they're worth the price of admission, but they're definitely the bonus that we call them. I don't know whether Greg has anybody to thank, but I'm going to send it over to him to find out. Why, yes, I do. I'd like to thank you who called in tonight, who have watched this show on WPSU. Thanks to uh, Josh and Aubrey Palmer and family of Grampian who called in a pledge. Thank you very much for that. We'd like to get all the phones busy. The people behind me answering the phones are from Curransville. They helped make this program. They went out with their cameras. They came back with the stories. We put it together. So call right now at 800-245-9779. Show your support for Curransville, for WPSU, your public TV station by making a pledge. Once again, a $75 pledge. We can send you a copy of the show, Our Town Kerrinsville, uh, for $120. There's two copies of the show. Keep one, send one away. Just our way of saying thanks for your support of public broadcasting, because that's what we're doing tonight. We're purchasing the programs, we're broadcasting the programs, uh, and uh, we're producing programs for you to watch here on your public TV station, WPSU. Give us a call, make your pledge, this is your opportunity to show how much you care about public television and Curransville. Scott Geezy. Over my shoulder, we have my friends Bobby and Kathy. Now, earlier in the show, they were on phones number eight and nine, and they were pretty much just sitting there. I, we, we switched their seats. We put them in seats number one and two. I think their hands hurt now. Well, they asked for it. That's, there's Bobby. There we go. See? Let's keep them busy along with all of our other phone volunteers tonight. We're not done yet. 1-800-245-9779. Okay, let's be blunt. This is television, right? I know what some of you have been doing. I know there are a lot of Penguins fans in Kerwinsville. That game's over. Tune into Channel 3. There we go. What? The score is 6 to nothing. <laughs> thank game's you. Over. Uh, no, that's what I said. The game's over. So, go on. Tune in. Like these folks, uh, we want to thank My Mike and Rhonda Troxel of <laughs> Kerwinsville, who made a donation tonight in memory of Ann and George Thatchick. That's cool. Thank you very much for your kind donation of support. Uh, thank you to Dan Squires, uh, uh, Dan and Jackie Squires of Clearfield. Folks, thank you very much for your kind donation. And Jeremy and Amanda Bloom of West Decatur, sort of just down the road there. Thank you very much for your kind pledge of support. We'd still like to get yours tonight so that we can keep this Our Town series going. 1-800-245-9779, or you can go online to WPSU.org. Once again, you can make whatever donation amount you want. Small, big, doesn't matter. You make the choice. We do have a couple of special thank you gifts that we have online tonight. For a $75 donation, we will be pleased to send you a DVD copy of this fine program that you have been watching tonight. And for a donation of $120 or more, We'll send you two of them. Hey, that's a good deal. 75 and 45. That's good. What, that's a bargain on the second one. You keep one, give one to a loved one, give one to somebody who uh, maybe lived in Kerwinsville, but uh, now they live far away or someplace. <laughs> give it to a family member because all the great stories that we watch tonight, they're terrific. Our Town is such a special show because it is one of these with a talking head at the beginning. This is the story of Kerwinsville. Let's go to the tape. All right, none of that stuff. We have the folks from Kerwinsville telling the stories, shooting the video, doing most of the work because it's their story. That's what makes our town so unique, and we want to keep it going, but that only happens with your membership pledge. 1-800-245-9779. We got a lot of phones back here busy. I think we're starting to cook with gas back here, okay? And let's swing it back over now to Bill. I want to point out that what we do here in public broadcasting is serious business. It makes a difference. And what we do here with this show is serious business. Absolutely. But it's not always all serious all the time. I guess not. No, it's not. 
Desperate so guys, measures. desperate measures. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Ken wants his mom to call. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I would be happy if anybody's mom would call and light up all the phones tonight. So let's let's right, get now's serious. Now's the time. Now's the time. Now's the time. You've been sitting around, the game's over, pick up the phone, let's call. I think I couldn't have said it better. Absolutely. Scott. <laughs> Scott. Me? Oh, I you're thought we're going to Greg. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Scott? I don't know. <laughs> Scott, Greg, we're, I would say we're indistinguishable, but that would be a big fat lie. 1-800-245-9779. You know, I have heard a couple of, uh, an ugly rumor. Uh, first of all, our friend Bill here is a videographer at WPSU, so he helped put the program together. Uh, or the pro these Our Town programs together. I'm just a pretty face. I'm a talking head, all right? Bill does work. And I've heard this really ugly rumor that my friend Greg Peterson, who helped start this series 21 years ago, is retiring. No. Now, I'm figuring this is fake news. You know, all that baloney you hear on the news, okay? This is fake news. It's not true. It's not true. Well, let's go to Greg. This is not true, right, Greg? It's true. It's not even an alternative fact. Um, I've, we started the series in 1996 because, frankly, I wanted a way to connect with the communities we serve. And I stole the idea from a project that I had done before I came to Central Pennsylvania where they went out with a bunch of cameras, still cameras, and they took photographs, and then they printed a book with captions in it. And, I, and it was a fundraiser for, I think, the library where I was at. And so I said, why can't we do the same thing with video? And it took me two years to con convince the program manager here Kathleen Pavelko at the time to say, let me do it. And so we did it. And it, it was just going to be a promotional project. And then we put it on the air to see if anybody would like a copy. And sure, it, we've done 92 shows now. And a lot of other stations around the country have emulated us and done the same thing. So thank you very much for making this a great project here for WPSU as it connects our station with you, the community. And connecting tonight, Norma Butler from Grampian called in a pledge. Thank you, Norma. Uh, William and Jean Hewitt of Kerwinsville called in. Thank you very much. Uh, Dwayne and Betty Test, the Test family of Kerwinsville, they called in. And also we heard from Shirley Evans of Clearfield. All these people calling in to support their public TV station, WPSU, and to support Kerwinsville. Don't forget, $75 pledge. You can get a DVD copy of the show, or for $120, we'll send you two copies. Just our way of saying thanks for your support of your public TV station. 800-245-9779. Call your pledge. Yes, I am retiring. I've been in public broadcasting 45 years, 28 years, and three months here at WPSU. But uh, I'll still be back to help doing fundraisers and things like that. So you're not getting rid of me that easy. I don't know whether that was a swan song or, or what that was. But we appreciate everything that Greg has done with us, for us, and to us over the years. And we're looking forward to working with him in the future, uh, shall we say, in a casual manner as opposed to an official manner. Uh, got a pledge from Penny McDonald from Kerwinsville. Uh, Dan and Penny McDonald from Kerwinsville, we appreciate that pledge of support. There are some people calling in now uh, that I hope to be able to thank on the air before we are done this evening. Uh, I would say pledge uh, as quickly as possible. Now is the time. 1-800-245-9779 is the number. WPSU.org is the web address if you'd like to go online. If you're streaming us live from elsewhere, the web address is the best way to get a hold of us. Or you can call in, and we will be more than happy to thank you on the air. For a $75 pledge, we'll be happy to send you a copy of the program this evening. For a $120 pledge, we will be happy to send you two copies of the program. Uh, I don't know whether it's too early to think about Christmas presents, but it's never a bad idea to have an extra stocking stuffer lying around somewhere that somebody might appreciate. And if you've got friends, neighbors, relatives, anybody who has any kind of a connection to Clearfield County, to Clearfield, Kerwinsville, Grampian, any of the towns surrounding, even if you only know somebody who likes to fish, and likes to go to Kerwinsville and fish in the west branch of the Susquehanna where it is finally clean enough to do that again. 
they would appreciate a copy of this program, I'm sure. And we would really like the opportunity to give you one for your pledge of support this evening. But the time is running short. Uh, Ken has gone off somewhere else, and I don't know whether his billboard is still on, but the sentiment is still the same. Please call 1-800-245-9779. WPSU.org is the web address. However you'd like to get a hold of us, we would love to hear from you. Scott. All right, folks have clearly discovered the Penguins game is over. They're so far in front, the game's a joke. So they've switched over to us. Thank you very much for that. Hi, I'm Scott. Uh, you just missed it, though. You just missed Our Town Kerwinsville. Great program, but we're taking pledges at 1-800-245-9779. Mr. TV Director Man, can we get the shot of the, of the whole room, uh, all of our phone volunteers? All right, I can count. One, two, three, four, and a waiver. Okay, four and a waiver. There we go. We want to get nine on the phone. We've only got a few minutes left to go on our program tonight. Let's see if we can get all nine going at once. We haven't done that yet tonight. 1-800-245-9779. Of course, we have more thank yous. Thank you to Tess Bloom of Kerwinsville. Now, this says Tess Bloom and the Blue Cow. I'll be honest, I'm not from Kerwinsville. I don't know if that's a local. I know what a cow is, Greg. All right, I can figure that part out. Uh, with a shout out to Denny and Julie. So folks, all of you, including the cow, thank you very much for your kind donation. We have Bill and Sheila Williams of Kerwinsville, along with Dave, uh, I'm either Sh Shana or Shania, and Liam Franson. I uh, hope I got the names right there, folks. Thank you very much for your kind donation. We have Ron and Nancy Matchock of Ramey, which is sort of down the road there. So congratulations and thank you very much for your kind donation. And we have Pamela Stefanoff of Indiana. As we say hi to our friends in Indiana tonight. And I've got a new note here that Pamela is a brand new WPSU member. Hopefully tonight we have a whole bunch of brand new WPSU members. And we want to keep that going because that's how we keep the Our Town series going. New folks becoming members, current members calling in, maybe renewing, making an extra donation and so on. That's what keeps the ball rolling. 1-800-245-9779 or WPSU.org. We're doing so well, we're smashing bells, okay? Let me throw it back to my friend Greg. Smashing bells. You know what they say down at, at the Blue Cow? Yeah, to, to air is human, to moo is bovine. So call right now with your pledge at 1 800 245 9779. Thanks to William Swatworth, Swatworth and Gene Sass uh, calling a pledge from Kerrinsville. Also, uh, Dave and Janice Kephart of Kerrinsville for calling a pledge tonight. We thank you very much for supporting WPSU and supporting the town. Uh, this is a, a project we've done for now, like we said, uh, 21 years. We started in 1996. It's a great way for us to connect with the communities. Uh, we've loved doing it. It is quintessentially a public TV program. You won't see this anywhere else. Now, another station a couple of years ago, they started to do little Our Town segments in their news, which lasted like four or five minutes. And that was nice, but we do you know, a whole hour, sometimes longer on the show. We get the people involved. The people tell the stories. We don't go to the town and say, you do this, you do that. The people who live in the town they tell the stories, and that's what's so great about this. 1-800-245-9779. You still have a chance to get on board. $75 pledge, we'll send you a DVD copy of this show. Uh, or for $120, we'll send you two copies. Keep one, send one away. Or uh, keep one for the upstairs DVD and one for the downstairs DVD. Visa, MasterCard, American Express Discovery. You make your pledge now. Support your public TV station. Do you have some more thanks? Mr. Bill. I do have some people to thank, and, and actually somebody just gave me another great idea. Uh, we got a pledge of support from Becky Alensky of Kerwinsville, and she is, uh, she is making this pledge in honor of Erica Clark, who graduated from Penn State last month, and Ab Abrielle Clark? Abrielle Clark, who graduates from Kerwinsville tomorrow. So if you're not interested in hanging on to these until Christmas, graduation presents would be a great oh, yeah. idea. So let's move on to the next possibility. Ken and Vanessa Snyder of Grampian called in in memory of Ed and Dolores Zwolowski. I believe that was the way that was pronounced when Scott did it the last time. Uh, and Kendra Nieper from Clearfield called in with a pledge of support uh, with a shout out to Morgan and Colton. 
We appreciate the fact that you folks are calling in. We are going to run very short of time here, quicker than we would like to. The phones are ringing. Please call. Please support this kind of programming. Please support Kerwinsville. $75 gets you a copy of the program DVD with a couple of great bonus features. $120 gets you two copies of the program DVD with those same bonus features. We would love to hear from you. We would like, oh, Greg is now working the crowd. So uh, things could get out of control in very short order if they haven't already. 1-800-245-9779 is the number. WPSU.org is the website. We would love to hear from you, and we would love to thank you on the air. Get your pledge in now so that we can do that. Scott. I think the fancy term is we have a cacophony of noise here in the studio, which is interesting because clearly, obviously, it's after 10 o'clock. Normally, we get to this point, things start to slow down. Things are starting to heat up. So let's keep going, all right? 1-800-245-9779. We have people ringing bells, breaking bells, stomping on bells, sitting on bells. There's one. Um, and if Greg's work in the crowd, you know we're getting serious, all right? We have some more thank yous. We appreciate this. Joe Brusco of Pittsburgh. Joe, I'm going to assume you're watching, uh, maybe watching the live stream. Uh, we have been live streaming tonight at WPSU.org slash live. So this, this program tonight literally has been worldwide, and we've gotten some calls from quite a distance, so that's kind of cool. Also, Nathan Carfley from Kerwinsville. Nathan, thank you very much for your very kind uh, donation of support. And now it's not too late. We're really cooking now. Let's hear from you at 1-800-245-9779. Maybe you're from Kerwinsville, Grampian, Clearfield, Clearfield County, the neighborhood, or actually anywhere. You've enjoyed the program tonight. You've been watching. You've been kind of sitting there like, well, I don't know. Well, I'm guessing you've got a phone there someplace. All right, come on, let's be honest. Where's mine? We all have our gadgets and gizmos now, don't we? How about a quick call with whatever donation of support you wish to give? High, low, in the middle, doesn't matter. Every donation helps to uh, continue the Our Town series, news programs, entertainment programs, kids programs, all the programs here on your public television station. None of this happens without support of folks like us, people who are WPSU members. 1-800-245-9779. We're not done yet. Let's see what Greg's been getting into. Let's go over to Greg. Well, I've been getting into trouble. Oh. Um, William and Jesse Prut, uh, Prut of Kerwinsville, thank you very much. And then we had this from somebody named Andrew Starr, Andrew Gentry and Ava, Ken Starr's oldest son and first grandson, I guess, for first grandbaby, 50 years, Starbuck girl. So there we go. Uh, they're, they're coming out of the woodworks. 1-800-245-9779 is the number. All of a sudden it got quiet. What happened? Hey, we'll take your money. Yeah, we'll, we'll, still, we'll, take, we will still take your money. 800-245-9779. Thank you, Kernsville, for calling tonight and making your pledge. We certainly do appreciate it. Thanks to the businesses who made the program possible. But the, the real thanks go to the people behind us who came over tonight to answer the phones, who volunteered their time to make the show itself. Uh, to all the things that it makes to make a community, it takes a community to make an our town. 1 800 to, that's a new phrase. 1 800 245 9779. Bill, any more? I don't have anybody to thank right now. I think they're still being looked at by the various places that they need to be looked at. Uh, but one thing I do want to say is I've had the pleasure of working with Greg for a very, very long time. And I've had the pleasure of working with him on this show for a long time. And uh, he's the kind of person who reinforces exactly what public television is all about. Uh, he's the kind of guy who makes it uh, fun to come into work. Uh, he is never without a terrible pun, uh, which uh, unfortunately escalates in our meetings to the point where some people leave the room. But we... Uh, Stephanie, you know who you are. Yes, exactly. So uh, we have a couple of more minutes here before we go back to the regular programming. And I'd like to thank everybody who's called in already this evening. I would like to thank the people who are still on the phone. And I would like to thank you if you are still thinking about making a pledge at 800-245-9779 or WPSU.org. 
we really, really appreciate the folks who have let us know that this is the sort of programming that they are willing to support with their hard-earned money. And believe me, we pay attention to that every time we go out to work on one of these shows. And I got to tell you that, that the folks who work with me on this program are true believers in the whole idea behind community-oriented TV. The, they're the kind of people who want to be part of this storytelling. They want to be part of what we do with the Our Town Project, and we'd like to keep doing it as long as you folks are willing to help us. 1-800-245 is the number. 1-800-245-9779 is the number. WPSU.org is the website address. If you think you'd like to make a call tonight, now is the time. We would be happy to send you a copy of this program tonight for a contribution of $75. One DVD for a contribution of $75, $120 will get you two DVDs. And it's amazing, the guys in the control room, it seems like they know when I'm going to say it because as soon as the words come out of my mouth, they show up on the screen for you guys. It's they, When they talk about the magic of television, that's part of it. I'm going to send it back up to Scott because I think he might have somebody to thank. I've got several. Uh, we're still cooking along here at 1-800-245-9779 or online, if that's more handy for you, at WPSU.org. Uh, thank you to Doreen Schaefer of Grampian for, uh, Doreen, your very kind uh, donation. Thank you very much. Also, Jim and Autumn Norris from Kerwinsville. Folks, we really appreciate your gift tonight. Thank you very much. And Carolyn Greco from Kerwinsville. Carolyn, thank you very, very much. And we would like to keep on thanking people. We've got a few more minutes tonight at 1-800-245-9779. Uh, if you go online to WPSU.org, easy to do it there. Uh, we have a rather substantial list of thank you gifts because, hey, we'd like to give you a thank you for supporting your public television station. So if you go online, and by the way, you can do this after the program's over. That's perfectly fine, too. Uh, I'm going to mention still my favorite. All right, Mr. TV Director, let's get that slide up if we could, please. The WPSU member card, which is uh, for anyone who gives any donation of $100 or more. So if you call in here in the next little bit and you can do 100 or more, that would be fantastic. Make sure you say, yo, member card, send me one, member card. All right, two for one dining deals all across central and northern Pennsylvania, including Kerwinsville, including Clearfield, including Dubois and some other surrounding zones. And as a matter of fact, if you're a real traveler, uh, you can kind of go online using your card and you can find out about connections in other places, other parts of the country where they have public television stations doing similar things that we're doing tonight. The member card will pay for itself. You will enjoy this thing to death. You will absolutely love it. For any donation of $100 or more at 1-800-245-9779 or online at WPSU.org. This is our final few minutes. Let's see if we can get squeeze in just a few more calls for our phone volunteers. And one more time, let me toss it back to my friend Greg. Earlier this evening, while the news hour was on, the PBS News Hour, we were talking about fact-based fact -based journalism and the way the news hour is that. And then we talked about fact-based pledging. And the fact is that, sure, we get money from the federal government. It amounts to $1.35 per person per year. Uh, and that's the national contribution. That covers public radio and public TV. And that um, nationwide, the single largest source of income for public broadcasting is from viewers and listeners like you. And that uh, you may be spending, I don't know, $60, $70, $80 a month for your dish or your, uh, your uh, cable TV service, whatever. And that's going to support a lot of the services, channels you may not even watch on your service. But none of it comes to public television. We decided many years ago that universal access, that they had to carry us in lieu of payment, was more important than getting money back from those services. So that's why on all the cable systems, on all the uh, satellite services, WPSU is on. So that's our promise to you that we'll be there. So we hope you'll promise to be here for us. Call us at 800-245-9779 or go online to WPSU.org. $75 once again, and we can send you a DVD copy of the program. Our town, Kerwinsville, and for $120, 
send you two DVDs. It's our way of saying thanks for your support for your public TV station. Once again, big thanks to the people behind me who came in to answer the phones tonight. Give them a big round of applause. And I think to wrap it up, we have one or two more thank yous from Mr. Bill. I do have one more person to thank, Sherry Weber of Grampian, uh, with a shout out to Jaden and Cher. Uh, I would hope that this is not the last person that we thank tonight. Uh, I would hope this is not the last call that we get tonight. But I want to say that I'm really, really happy that we got every pledge that we received this evening. It is really rewarding to know that people appreciate and agree with the whole concept of our town and public broadcasting. And we really want to thank all of you for watching, all of you for supporting the program. And we will see you again in another couple of months with the 93rd version of Our Town once again.